everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Um, you just missed Alex like swearing as um, as he, he struggled to log into Steam on this computer. It's funny how how this Done it. happens. So. Good morning. It's Tuesday, everyone. So normally this is like a toasted Tuesday. This is like a, normally like a me and Tom slot where what we do is oh. we look at like the newest games. Mm -hmm. But I thought, as you're here and you're a bit of a strategy game lover, we could subvert the normal new game thing and play some super, super old games. So well, I was just talking to Alex beforehand because we were talking about Thea. We both really enjoyed Thea. Uh, you've recently been playing Rome Total War. Yeah. Which I've I never got into. I don't know why. I, I definitely like was aware of like Attila to all the old Total War games, but I've never, as a strategy game lover, and I, I to some extent like I really enjoy RTS too. I've I never got into Total War. Total War is what got me into strategy games. I know it was your gateway, yeah. and for me it was like it almost put me off them. Well, it's Do you because. Know what I mean? My friend went, went to me once in the schoolyard. Oh, yeah, I, I built roads in Britain. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I was playing this game the other night, and I was the Roman Empire, and I took control over the, the Iceni territory, and then I built some roads. I was like, what is this game? And it was the ability that I could just, like, pave my way through Europe, building infrastructure, and that's what really got me into it. I guess I was never really taken with the Romans either. Like, sell me on, sell me on Rome. Shall I just load it up right now? And yeah. we'll do, like, a thing where you sell me on a game from your childhood that I never really understood, and I'll sell you on, like, I'll sell you on something from me. Oops. <laughs> um, how do I find Rome Total War? Oh, I typed in Room. And then Total you... War Rome. No, no, not Rome 2, not Rome 2. It's got to be the original one. Let me... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, obviously, it's in your favourites. Uh, <laughs> I should have known. Three gigabytes. Yeah, it's pretty small per, compared to games of today. Wow. But it's one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my life. You have got like all of the Total War games here. A lot of them were for you know uh, early access codes. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were like involved from an early time getting co early copies I, of. I think I've had early access for Total War since Attila. Okay. That's the first time I got early access. That was in 2015. Damn. So a few years. So you've got 200 hours in Total War Attila. Yep. 62 hours in Total War Napoleon. 66, 125. Okay. And Only 47 in Rome, but that's because the original it was used to be disc-based. And this was the... It was published by before Activision. Steam. Yeah, this was before Sega owned... Activision. Um... um Creative assembly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So I think I've probably had about maybe, I reckon close to a thousand hours on the original Rome. Okay. So sell me. Go on. Tell tell me about Rome. Why why should I care? Well, it's the it's the strategy game that redefined the strategy genre back in the early two thousands. It's what Time Commanders was based off of. You basically can spread Roman influence or any other faction that you conquer. You unlock factions by conquering them, or you can just go into the, like the settings and just like copy and paste the into from locked to unlocked okay like when you could actually change the game files just like okay that. you felt like a hacker yeah just loading up a notepad file and like <laughs> copy and pasting you can't do that anymore uh you could have you could have um there's a unit called war pigs where you just send burning pigs towards your there's the elephants, there's massive elephant units. See, this is what... See, the, see, you're already telling me stuff that they basically didn't put in to all future games. Do you know what I mean? Every game after this didn't have anything fun like that. I yeah. think it was like... And then Warhammer, finally, they started putting weird stuff back in. Yeah. And the games became more than, you know, square squares of pikemen simulator. Um, it's also one of the best mid to late game Total Wars out there. Usually, it just becomes a steamroll. And it just becomes very boring after the first like 50 to 100 turns. But this Rome one, if your faction becomes too powerful, the Senate basically gets the other two Roman factions to declare war on you. So there's like a big Roman civil war between the three Roman factions. So it's and like an end game going. crisis. Yeah. Nice. See, that's good. That's a good idea. They should do that more often. It's a similar sort of thing in Civ, really. Unless you sort of leave someone who is... Well, it's a similar thing in all strategy games, isn't it? You know... There's also um, each of the factions seems well. You've got you've got various different. Am I launching yeah. Total War just, Barbarian? No, 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 just the, just the original one. Barbarian Invasion wasn't as good. What does that mean? 
It's the DLC. Okay. So it's kind of set during the fall of the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when um, John Schaefer's At the Gates is set. Is it? I haven't actually played that. I, I did see your tip. I could show you it. It's not very good. Oh. It's quirky. I think it could be a good game, but I don't know. Um, but each of the factions is quite well balanced, and there's, there's a lot of diversity. Obviously, you're fighting across all the different... Europe, Africa, a little bit of Asia. Okay. Oh, it was released in 2004, so I think it was in development from 2001. So it's like three-year development. Right. Oh. Look at that. 16 by 9. What is... This is like... It's like even... Um, you mean... You mean... Look like at these graphics. The 2004, these were like groundbreaking. Oh god. They still hold up pretty well to like for some strategy games today. Why, why are they in the desert? I guess it's what Carthage. That would have been the uh, Parthians. What's, what's who are the Parthians? In the east, so like Iran and that kind of area. That's Carthage. Oh, he almost fell off there. Yeah, those are the uh, like Iberian swordsmen. Oh, Iberian. Like Iberian swordsman, yeah. From, like, where Spain and... Yeah. Because Barcelona would have been a Carthaginian city. <laughs> right, okay. Like, oh, right. After the Barker family. Like, the Barker dynasty, you know, Hannibal Barker. Right. I guess because they conquered all the way around, didn't they? When they yeah. marched around the side. Crunch. Ah. Uh. Those are the Parthians. Horse archers are the, were the kind of like, yeah, but you can form Testudo, so you... Oh, look at that. That's the Brutii family. <laughs> right. You could be the Brutii, the Julii, or the Scipii. I always went for the Brutii. The true sons of Rome. Okay. And what? the soundtrack's fucking amazing. Uh, what do you mean? Are they just different families? I don't understand. That's the, uh, those, oh. are the, those are the Britons getting fucked over. Okay. Those are the Gauls getting fucked. I love those guys just standing by their catapults. Like, War chariots. No big deal. Oh, look at those. I like the in-game engine used to make this cinematic as well. Respect for them doing that. Do you know what I mean? Well, in 2004, these graphics were like really high tech. It's like a trailer that plays at the start of the game. It's like a trailer for the game. Vanilla Rome Total War sucks. No, it doesn't. You take that back. Yeah, this is not this is not this is not about that. This is about childhood memories. All right, I'm gonna play. Should we play multi? Let's not play multiplayer. What should I do? Should um, I just do? We a could change the resolution. It does have. You don't want to play it in original resolution? I mean, we can, but the, the, if you go into the video settings, it does have 920 by 1080. Oh, but this isn't capturing the original feel, Alex. You know, I want to play it as it was. I mean, you can. You've Not got to play on 1024 by 720. No, we'll play it as it, as it is, just for the sake of... Um, for the Quality. sake of... of um, sake of our sanity. Oh, maybe the menus are scaled up. That's okay. No, they are. Um, that's okay, we can just play it. What should I do? Imperial campaign. Oh, do you want, if you want to play the prologue, I guess you can play the prologue, but I could probably talk you through the Imperial campaign. Exactly. I feel like we should do, like... I don't want to play this for 200 hours, Alex. I want to just yeah. get, like... All right, Imperial campaign. I want you campaign. to sell it to me. You've got... Let's say you've got half an hour okay. to sell me this game. So Why is this game wor do, worth my time? Do you, do you prefer to kill French people, Greeks, or Afri the, uh, Carthage? I want to kill... French people. <laughs> okay, pick the Julii, and then we'll go kill some. Uh, <laughs> we'll go kill some Frenchies. But uh, what do you mean, Julia? The House oh, of Julii. So I it see. can be the House of Brutii, yeah. and then sort of so you're normally these these the heel the guys were in the high heel. Yeah, and then you kind of go over and defeat the Macedonians and and whatnot. But yeah, we'll be the House of Julii and take a little bit of Northern Africa. Why were these? When were these separated? Then was this originally like? No, this is just for the game. Right. This is just kind of set up so you have a bit of flexibility. Were these yes, not? Man. Was it not like this in real life? No, I mean the fact the the names like you know you got Julius Caesar, but would have been the house house of Julia, I think. I don't know. I don't know enough about Rome history. I know that did sound weird. Um, make a weird I think noise. We've... Oh no, there we go. Look at this widescreen. Suddenly it's gone from four by three to <laughs> fucking <laughs> super widescreen. <laughs> what the fuck? 
did you think I'd be out here on the frontier without good reason? Yes. Rome needs a strong frontier. The general speeches are really good too. No! Rome doesn't need unwashed barbarians at her gates. So, I'm getting into that's why I'm here. The leader of the Julii, to bring Roman order to stinking Gauls. Yeah. Revenge? That'd be good too. This war against the Gauls won't last long. Stinking and Gauls. And when it's done, I've got plans. I can't call them Gauls anymore. This is all about power. No, power it's too politically. In Rome. Ancient. Going down <laughs> that <laughs> no one knows, <laughs> no one knows what it means. That's why. <laughs> like, what? The Greeks. <laughs> French. Those Carthaginian elephant riders. Oh, those are the war pigs. The yeah. and yeah. the we won't we have time to unlock them. But... Okay, and set them on fire. After all, the man who controls Rome. Rules the world. That's right. And one day, I will be emperor. Emperor. <sighs> it's cool, isn't it? Romans, Romans were cool. If Xander Britain's here, ah, uh, he'll probably he'll be pleased. Alex, the single boy. Yep, single, ready to mingle. Well, if you're interested, chat, do let us know. Yeah, DM me. Um. For God's sake, don't just don't do that. <laughs> uh, Senate to the side. Fake settlement, Segesta. Yeah, Segestia is uh, up top left. So, um, can I actually assume control? Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. can. So, I'll just kind of. Uh, so, there are like various buttons. Uh, this is your family tree, so you can see. My wife. Uh, yeah, which was taken My out. My wife. So, uh, Rome Total War, Total War Rome 2 didn't have a family tree, and they said they could never put one in. But five years down the line, they, they put one in. Okay. But. But unlike the family tree here, which will like name your character is that as Julius. My son who's bald there on the left. They're not bald. Oh no, that's your daughter. Oh yeah, yeah. But he's thirty, so Okay. 31. Like poor Prince William. Or just me. <laughs> oh, right, I'm sorry. Well he's completely <laughs> slapping. You're not you're <laughs> oh, no, I'm I don't not think of you as bald. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Prince um, William's got a lot less hair than you, Alex. Uh just saying. I, so, yeah, uh, but in Rome 2, um, your family name doesn't carry on. It just assigns a random name for every... every per it doesn't make sense. Okay. So the family tree sucks. Even though they put one in when they said they couldn't, it, it sucks. So the, Rome, the, the, fact, the, fo the family tree on Rome is the best one. Okay, because it's actually yeah. um, and vaguely accurate, or is it, is it made up? But well, it's all made up, but your, your family lineage will continue, and you can assign your faction heir. So if we don't want um, Slaphead... To be our factionaire, we can right. change it. To Why wouldn't we? I don't know. You can kind of because each one has stats, so like a different command oh, right. management. So he's got only one command. Yeah, Quintus Julius has better command, uh, and then Vibius doesn't. Our best one is Flavius Julius. Our can we make one of the wives in charge? Unfortunately, not. We can marry off our thirteen-year-old. I did that in my video recently, where I married her off to like a fifty-year-old. But when she's thirteen, she's of age. So excellent. In Rome, good to know. <laughs> not. Uh... <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why are our two other daughters grands as well? Can we just go back to that for a moment? Just it's all right. Um, a grand. We've got grandchildren. Look at those grands. They're actually grands though. These look. Look how old they look. Why are they got this? Why no, this those those are our sons. Look like my grand. Oh, it's a son. Yeah, they're our sons. Excellent. Good. Good news. Yeah. Uh, oh god, oh god. Okay, sorry, Alex. You can take over. Um, so you have like a diplomat, which we can send up here, but we're going to kill the ghouls. We don't care about them. Uh, you've also got a spy up here. Then you've got two starting armies. I usually unite the starting armies. Makes sense. Uh, and then it just plays out like a normal total war, really. But if you don't, gone. So we would attack Segesta. Okay. And I'll let you control the battle, though. So okay. We'll get into that. Oh my god, am I Ben or Tom? I don't know. Which Whichever you like. I don't know. Okay. Uh, well. Who usually controls your Well, path? Tom and Ben. Sorry, I should have explained. Tom and Ben do a Total War Warhammer stream. Oh, yes. Toddy! Exactly. Um, one of them is be... Ben and one of them is Tom. We could, I should have so just So one of them like... is obviously like the map screen is Ben work or Tom work. Oh. Know. They changed over, I think. I am Tom. Tom does the battles. Ben does the Ben work. I see. They did change over though. I'm gonna wait. Why does wait do anything? I should have come in in like a Roman outfit and been like, "Hi, hi, I'm Julius," and then 
commanded the Judii. So I've got... So you have Hastati! So those are the... Do you know how the Roman military worked before the Marines no. reform? Okay, so the Hastati were kind of like the newer soldiers that would be at the front. The Principes are the more experienced. We don't have any Principes. And then the Triarii were like the final line. Those are the spearmen, yeah. Third line. They would only go in if the, if the battle was getting really desperate. Okay. So we've got light infantry. These dudes are... How do I rotate Those are like the camera? mainstay. How do you what? Rotate camera. Oh, uh, you have to just go to the edge of the screen. Oh, oh, oh. We, yeah, okay. it's really retro. Wow. Mm. Hastati. Yeah. Those Velites. are the skirmishers. Okay, and... Triarii! Triarii! They're like, they're like American. <laughs> American. Those are the Marines, yeah. <laughs> Marines! <laughs> <laughs> and these guys are just some fucking heavy your general, cavalry. That's yeah. my general shit. Yeah. So he's got a proper cavalry unit. Roman archers. So I would set your tri uh, if I um, go on, Alex. I'll just select all of your Hastati and put them in Group One. Uh, I'm going to put them, enable fire at will because they've got pillum, so they can throw javelins. Pillum. Yeah, pillum. <laughs> Sounds like an illness. <laughs> they've got a bad got case pillum. of pillum. <laughs> That's from sitting down too much. <laughs> Yeah, my piles have been okay. They were okay last night. Good, so. good. <laughs> Thanks for that, everyone. No, uh, everyone was very concerned. We'll, we'll, we'll just start, and then there's a, you're, you're going to win this battle. So, Triarii. Yeah. So you're you're just trying to take this little shitty town. All right. Cool. What are these guys? Those are that's a more heavy cavalry. Alright. Uh, you, might, you might want to set your units to run though, just for... Just for speed? Yeah. I can't actually turn it up. No, you have to uh, click group one. No, that's double game speed, but... Yeah, this works. And then just set them to run. But I don't want to They've got their run. little sandals. They get tired. Ah, they're Romans. They've, they've got some kind of... So look, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know, what's, well, I don't know what you've done. I think I'm... I don't know. I'm just playing it like I would play a normal Total War game. I'm putting the cavalry around the side, even though I know it's my general. So what is it about Total War you don't usually like? <sighs> this. <laughs> you don't like the battles? I don't like... I don't like how you can't, like, lock people in a formation and, and like, at the start and, like, hold them in that sort of grouping. What? I don't like... They're fiddly or sort of faddly often. I think there are formations. At least I thought there were. That's weird. If you click on group one, can you, like... Well, so you can do that, okay. Yeah. So this is quite advanced, honestly. Where are these guys? They're in the city centre. Right, okay. They're scared of you. Rebels. Wreck them. Let's just send in group one, which is... Oh, God, did I just use the numpad? So I think, I think the formations is uh, bottom right next to your general, up. There you go. Oh, wait. No, never mind. No, there aren't formations. Just kidding. Why, when I select that, <laughs> does no one else move? I don't know. You think you've fucked it. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know what, what you've done. I'm holding down shift doesn't actually let me add to a group. But it's fine. This is like uh, control works. Move forward. It's the eagle in the bottom right. Uh? Oh, there we go. Oh, because show you have to have the whole group selected and then it will show... Yeah, if you now click it. Oh, oh there you go. Uh, okay, cool. That's how we're going to do it. Three lines. Why is there BRB up there? Oh, the editor's... Uh, right. Why is there BRB? Yeah, there's BRB up there. That's always just a note to us. Oh. Yeah, that's like Sam's obviously going to set up some stuff. God, this is Tom work, isn't it, this? It's Tom. Definitely Tom work. But this is good because, like, you know. I'm, I must be pissing everyone off. I'm so sorry. Right, so what are these guys? These guys are heavy cavalry. Of course they are. It's very easy to sell. And these are my generals, so they're more heavy cavalry. Okay. Cool. We'll see them around the side. Like, for me, having the, the tactical map and then being able to fight the battles in real time was like. It was. Oh, that's what really got me into it. I I like I, I like I like the paradox games, but there's I I'd like being able to control my army. 
and because all of it, you know, Paradox games are always very stat based. So you just, it's just random. There are dice, right, dice rolls, which kind of control like how your units battle, but. Actually, something someone um, gifted me recently was XCOM 2. I'm looking forward to playing through that. XCOM 2, oh, what game? Well, I mean, for me, for that was my childhood, really. I mean, can I not go around the back? Yeah, you can. You can go around and flank him. It's like the camera's like not letting me go any further. Oh, you've got rest. Hold on, let me. Hold on. Uh... I want to be free to do what I want to do. There we go. Restrict camera. What kind of, kind of restricted? Oh, I see. It's, it is. A you might not want to be at free speed anymore because your army's. No, I'm getting them ready. Look, I'm moving them into position. Let's charge them in the back. These rebels are going to get kettled. Not one of them's going to escape uh, any of these back ways. Is um is Zof a, like a full time mod? Zoof. Zoof. A full time mod. I don't know. Oh. He's just, just always there. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, they're attacking you. You get, you get you go on normal speed. You go normal speed. They're attacking me. Well, they they're getting confused. They're, they're getting like, ready. where do I attack? Totally full time. Where's my paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, see, look, your your Hastati are running in their pillum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because you put more fire of will. Yeah. And now they're charging you. Oh. Perfect. Let's get the heavy cavalry in the back. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. This is one of the um, odd things about Rome AI, is that it can be kind of dumb. Okay. Oh, no, they went for your archers. Okay, they went for your weaker unit. Yeah. They, that's what they knew they were doing. I'm running the archers out. See ya. Okay. Pretty sure I said to go over that way. My horses have turned up. They're like, yes. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader. You're also fighting on normal battle battle, battle difficulty, which is basically easy. Okay. There you go, you've already won. <laughs> true virtue. Excellent. No, that was excellent. Thank you. So they... We killed, We lost seven dudes. Seven, like, guys fell over by accident. One guy fell off his horse. Like, one guy got ate, like, a bad bit of meat or whatever. And got, like, bad diarrhea and shat himself to death. You know, no, just just trivial deaths. Well... It's like a, that's, you know... Oh, now you can choose what happens. You can either exterminate everyone... Well, they were rebels, occupy right? Occupy them or enslave them, so... I think we should occupy it initially. That's the cla that's the total war way, All right? Occupy. Then if they rebel, then you destroy them. Yeah. Um, spies. Service. Interesting. So this is really this is weirdly short. similar to like the newer service. ones, you know? Yeah. Out of moves. All right, Alex, you're up. This is, oh, okay. this is Alex work. Uh, so in your town, you can obviously build various things. So this is what I was struggling with uh, a little bit yesterday. I didn't know what to build on. Endless Ledger. Endless Ledger, yeah. Uh, but each of these ones kind of tells you. Uh, so if you build a stable, you can get war dogs and equites. Those are just basic cavalry. Practice range. You've got a trader. Um, these are the roads, which I just really like building just because it, it changes on the map. So at the minute, they're, they're dirt. But then once, you, once, you, once they're paved, <laughs> then it will look like a road. A road. Romans road. love building roads. Yeah. And this is what. This is what happens. You were at school. Someone was like, I built some roads in England. You were like, I want to do that. That's my goal. Yeah. And we're also converting uh, Segesta from a just a barbarian little village into a Roman place now. Okay, sweet. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's build roads in England, Alex. Um, that'll take us more than three hours to get to that point. Do you reckon you can like, speed run it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to we have to get Gaul first. You mean? Yeah, well, in theory, I could just load everyone onto the boats, sail them around, but again, that that would take about an hour of in-game time to do all of that. Nah. Yeah. I reckon you could speed run it. No, I can't. I'd really. How much admin do you need to do? How much Ben work is there? Well, we need to sail all the way around. This would take about twenty-five turns to That's sail around. We just end turn a lot. But then the Iceni will have bigger armies than we have. Oh, see, because we, we would have... It's like, it's like in Civ where you leave with your tiny army. Mm -hmm. I reckon I could handle it. I've played Total War before. Fleet ready. 
I reckon. I reckon. Do you actually want to just sail it to speed run to Britain? How bad do you reckon they're going to be? It's going to take. Oh, Gaul want trade, right? So if we ignore, if we ignore Gaul, then I'll send the army that we have. Do we, do we need to train any more? Do we need, help, do we need like, I, backup troops? Uh, you can only train one unit per turn in each city. Okay, cool. So it's not, it's not like a modern one. This is going to go so badly. Oh, and you you can do like auto um... peasants. Yeah. Fleet ready. All right. Um, off we go, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's like just it was like watching one of your videos there when you said that. It was just like such a classic. That was classic rambler <laughs> right there. I enjoyed it. Thanks. You're welcome. So you watch my videos? Yeah, I watch. I watch. I don't watch like, I'm. I'm not. I've watched all of your videos, and also I don't watch them completely. Like, I, like for example, I watched like two minutes of our latest TTT this morning because someone was like, "Oh, that last round was good," so I just watched the last round. I was oh, like, okay. oh yeah, that was a good one. Do you know what I mean? That's like, that's what I watch. Kind of. I'm. A, I'm not like. I. Um, no. I watch all of Tip. Do you? But then they're only, sometimes they're 30 seconds. So yeah. It's, it's pretty manageable. <laughs> we should do one today on Rome Total War 2. I'm going to be in a tip video. Yeah, we can be, if you want. Oh, my fuck. Oh, Alex, you're such so adorable. That's so, so nice. We're off. <laughs> We're off. It's going to take I us 20 turns. I see what you mean, yeah, about the, about the <laughs> turn. Oh, look. The roads okay. have changed. Oh, so, shit. And they, Paved roads. That's what we're going to do to England. Now you can see all like, the little traders going around as well. So I think for like 2004, the graphics are actually on point. At your service. On my can we send a spy over? Yes, um, yes To England? Master. Yeah. He needed to have got on those boats. Is that guy named Sextus Anno? Who was... Click on that other guy. Him. Oh, Sextus Antio. Antio. Sextus. That's a classic Roman name. Hi, Sextus. Once. Eke Romanus. Do you know what that means? No. It means look, a Roman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only Latin I know. Yes. Oh. Um, apart from Flavio ad arborem ascendit, which means Flavio climbed a tree. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's right. Any, any Latin um, experts in chat want to correct me? Uh, so you've also got... Um, 60k Iceni, uh, Iceni are now preparing on the shores of England. So mm -hmm. you can also see that... Uh, you can see everything that the other Roman factions are doing. Okay. Which is also quite nice because they reveal the map for you. So they've already... Uh, they're like allies. Up they're effing up the Greeks there. And then the Skippy Eye are uh, effing up the Greeks in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. There were Greeks in Sicily, were there? Yeah, well, there were Greeks in southern Italy as well. Right. Well, I, um, so be. I think I think Croton actually used to be a, a Greek colony. Croton it sounds yeah. like a shit sci-fi uh, robot villain. Croton, <laughs> I am Croton. <laughs> All will bow before Croton. <laughs> <laughs> there's also another Greek. I'll show you it when we get there. I think it's called Massalia. Okay. So that's modern day Marseille. Mar 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 that used mm -hmm. to be a Greek colony as well. Did it? Damn. Damn. They got everywhere, the old Greeks. Big Hist empire. History fact. History. It's interesting. It's full of interesting shit. Yeah. History. I love history. It's, it was my, always my favorite subject at school. This Total War game is not that historically accurate. So it's ooh, well, ooh, well, no, it's not. Well, it was hard to like... The histories are like kind of not... I mean, we don't have like incredibly detailed maps, or do we? Do we have like incredibly detailed maps of the Roman Emperor, like various stages? Yeah. Okay. So in fact, it could be historically accurate. I mean, it's not. But they've they done because I always thought Creative Assembly did their best to make it as accurate as they could in terms of like. In 2004, I think some liberties were taken, like Ooh. Um, because there were hundreds of tribes in Gaul, but in Rome Total War, there's just there's just Gaul. Gaul was a faction. Uh, in Rome 2, then there's like there's multiple different factions. Okay. So, it, it, yeah, as time goes on, we're in Spain now, so we're, we're having it up large. Having it large. In Malaga. You're not wrong about 20 turns, are you? No, I, I, <laughs> I'm doing it as quick as I can. 
I'm kind of neglecting our empire just to see if we can kill some Britons. Let's see if we can go and find and kill some Britons. I am. And then, what experience Arthur, are you showing me later? King of the Britons. Might not have to show you anything, Alex. This is, this is good enough. Uh, the Spanish have trapped us. Okay. So we're we're stuck there. I'm going to see if they move, but if not, then we're then we're not going to get to. Oh, there we go. See, Gaul's already besieging Massalia. Prepare to ambush. Yeah, they've. Uh... Stupid Set Spanish. Sail. The fleet cannot go there. The fleet cannot go there. So what? Aye, he's aye, just blockading there. Yeah, unless they move, we can't go on our little holiday. Is that like Plato there, just walking around? I think that's probably a diplomat. Is that Mary? Uh, do you know what? We might just have to attack the Spanish. Attack! Clear. There we go. Off we go. So did we lose anything? We lost half of our men on our ships. So it's going to be... If we run into any other ships, then we're our whole army's going to get sunk. Okay. I think someone's doing some hoovering out there. Oh. <laughs> God, that was weird. I like how high we are. It feels like we're sitting on like high. Emperors of We're looking Rome. down on yes. the Plebeians. It's good. It's good. It's a good like. Oh, we missed like a woman giving birth there. That was like an image of like. Oh shit! We skipped a woman giving birth. Don't worry. What does SPQR stand for? Senate and the people of Rome. Okay. So they remain, they're like the independent, I don't know, they're, they're meant to like rule you. Senatus, peopleus, quad, romanus. Senate and people. Yeah, so we've just failed a mission. They're very unhappy, but we don't care. We're, listen, we don't need Rome. It's, I know it's really nice and hot weather and loads of old busts of people and stuff. We have to sail around. Okay, we are one, two, literally taking 20 turns. We're five turns away from landing in. Right, we're going to take um, Bristol, Alex. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's not a city. Okay. What about Colchester? Uh, there's only uh, there's only two regions. It's either the south or the north. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing that they did there is that they kind of took out of more modern Total War games is the population mechanic. So if okay. you recruit troops. Then you'll see the population's gone down. Oh right. Which I which I always thought was cool. That is cool. There's only five thousand people in Rome. Um. We'd have to send our spies. Oh, I see. That's not. We haven't got Rome. Right? No, we don't own Rome. We Rome is owned by the the Senate, and they have the most powerful army in the game to start with. Right. We should pick them. You can't. Okay. Can't. Well, you can if you do the um the modify the I and I file. <laughs> yeah. We should have done that. Ready. We should have done the authentic experience, Alex. It's not too late. Let's see, who's this? Um, Pirates. Yeah. Are they going to sink our fleet? Yeah. Can we run away? No. This is embarrassing. Ultimate. Rope your line. We got further. <laughs> we got closer to our. We retreated in the right direction. <laughs> Oh no, but who's this? Oh no, it's the freaking ghouls. We're not going to survive another... Um... Let's land. Set sail. This was our plan all along, Order. to take Paris. Yeah. Let's take Lemonum. We can hire some mercenaries and use them as fodder. Perfect. I usually do that. I hire the, I hire the natives as like a meat shield. I love it, Alex. Good thinking. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. How long do we need to um, under siege, sir. siege it for? Uh, we just need one turn to get a ram. A ram? Yep. Just one ram sir. and then we'll be in. Unfortunately, I forgot about that we're going to... We're at war with... The, um, we've got a lot of rebels building up in the... That's a lot of rebels, actually. Uh, we've kind of been neglecting the... It doesn't matter. We're going to settle in Legate leg Lemonum. We're going to make a new... So you can... I guess you have garrison forces, right? Y yeah. Like in question mark. Um, the only garrison that you have 
is We could have probably made it actually. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, our navy sunk. So it's good that we No, we burned our ships. You made the right decision. It's like the Vikings, they, there's like there's no way back. Uh, Area dock, up Area dock. We could auto this. I think we would do auto this. It's not real not needed. Oh, we lost forty nine guys. That's too many. Exterminate populace. <laughs> Continue towards right. Where are their ships? I need to. We find their ships and sail to England or Paris. We're at minus one thousand gold. That's not good. Are they costing us all the money? I'm, I'm gonna check. Let's take a little look here. That's rough. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the mercenaries. They didn't die quick enough. The numbers are in the red. <laughs> I think it might be because the... They're being pillaged. Yeah. So the rebel, the brigands there are blocking our... Um, trade. Engage the enemy. Do you want to fight the rebels? Sure. Wow, they got a nice mixed force. You can do it. We've got peasants. No, we don't. I recruited some Hastati. Hastati? Yeah. Triori, I. Astarte. The omens have been better. Why is Lewis not? I dismiss those priests. Why is Lewis not ignoring Alex? They are Great question. Not... Okay, is this our force? Yeah. Astarte. Bald. You should have them at <laughs> Baldy. Two Baldies. Yeah. What's he? This just shows that male pound baldness is actually very common. So we've got three heavy cavalry. Astarte, so cool, no problem. All right. Male pattern baldness, even in Roman times. Yeah. It runs the families. <laughs> yeah. It happened on both sides of my family, so I was screwed either way. Do you, like, do you just do this? Um. Yeah. Oh, shit, here they come. Fucking running at me. Brigands. Well, they got light cavalry. Charges now heavy mm -hmm. cavalry. Fuck those guys up. Right up. <laughs> Just an awkward, <laughs> awkward <laughs> selfie. <laughs> Promote the next uh, awkward chat. That's what um, I believe people were. That's what it was awkward. called on the schedule. Okay. Awkward chat with Lewis and Alex. I feel like it's been so far pretty good. This has been a lot more successful than our first um, three hour sesh. Are these fucking art missile skirmishing boys coming in? Are we gonna just. Chuck out pilars. So you're gonna chuck them, then you're gonna wreck them. Fucking chuck them, dudes. You Bam. probably shouldn't have it s sped up. You should play it. Play it at real speed. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you don't want to send all your units after the, the. Your units are just running after the. Yeah. Oh, you killed that general, though. Fucking rip. Fear us. It is time to press the attack. Uh oh. Turn. Fight these. Oh, get fucked up. Get fucked up. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Worthless dogs. Um, 
Oh, that was way too long. <laughs> Holy fuck. How long were you there for? About 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, good. Uh. This is a heroic victory. Uh. The rebellions were put down. The French campaign must continue. Victory! We need to sort out our finances, Alex. Oh, shit. Yeah, we do. We're actually losing. Is there another the army here? Why are we That's losing probably. so much? Oh, let me solve it. I can solve it. Go on. Take it alone. We don't need a loan. I'll give us a bit of money. Oh, just increase the tax rate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can't go under seventy percent. Um, otherwise, the rebel. We also need. Uh, we also need governors in these cities. Otherwise, we can't increase General. the tax rate. General. I think Mousy's in chat. She. I think I saw Mousy. Shout out. I might be wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I might have got our financial situation. Nope. Hell there. Just kidding. Okay, yeah, let's let's defeat the remainder of the... I misclicked. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we are beating them. Beating them into submission. Just auto, I guess, yeah. A tiny little battle. Oh, God, that guy just drowned. Oh, yeah, look, there. there, there, there. Mousy's always around. Uh -huh. Sir, you can't see her because she's like... Tiny. <laughs> like. Hey, I fixed it. You fixed our treasury. I fixed the treasury. Now Ready. we just can't spend any money. That's good. What's that? You've disbanded some Pastates. Yeah, we don't need them at the moment. Um, yes, Lemonum. Yeah, we're actually bringing in a lot of money here. Uh, this is probably our best. Let's just tax the new people higher. Didn't we burn yeah. their place to the ground? You did, yeah. yeah. So, but we don't have the money to repair anything. Good. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burn my way across Gaul okay. until they, as the Romans did. Oh, of Caesar. To use them as an example. Make all, an example. Oh, of Aldra clipped the awkward moment. Thanks, Aldra. Let's, let's I'm going to be coming for your mead one day. General Flavio Lewis won. Road builder and, builder and killer of his own troops. Yes, Flavio at Oborum Ascendit, Alex. Tempus Fugit. Indeed. Do you know any other Latin? I'm, I'm going to make that my screensaver. <laughs> you took a picture of me looking smug. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where do we go from here? This is, this is Alex work, not me. Oh. There's a silver mine there, a valuable source of income, Alex. It's Total War Fat Edition. What? Fat. It looks a bit fat, doesn't it? it what looks, looks a bit fat? Stretched. This. Everything this game. Does, yeah. So where do you want to go? Do you want to go further up? Do you want to? Go? Yeah, we're going to go to England. We're going to take their shipyards. We don't have any boats. Condate Redonum. Do you want to bother taking that? Yes. Of course we do. It's we, on the way. We, we can't replenish our troops, you know. So we're in. We didn't lose that many. I'm going to have to lower the tax rate. Uh oh, there's an army there. Yeah, We're under siege. it's fine though. It's just a small one. Is he sieging us? In theory, he could attack right now. They're going to take the city. We, I only hired plebs. Oh, I see. These are peasants. Yeah. All right. They don't have. I don't have bowmen. Rip. Anyway, I think I get the idea, Alex. I think I get the idea. Oh, it's good. Oh, there's no. There's an, there's an ambush. They're attacking us up here. Your forces are attacked by an army of Gaul. Do you want to fight that one? Flavius Julius. And then did you want to switch to a different game? So we can... Because we thought we were going to do like a half hour trial to see yeah. if I can sell you on it. But I liked it so much that I wanted to play more. This wow. Is a day of battle. Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I like it. I honestly really think it's legit. Should we just wait? Yeah, they have to... Yeah, because they're attacking you. So you could just stay there and uh, F them up. How do I enable fire at will? Um, you only can have the units that have, yeah. Triari, I don't have that ability. <laughs> oh you my gosh, that sparkling water. Spark. So, but, but these guys, oh, these guys are more Hastati. Oh yeah, I've got, got You have many Hastati. units of Hastati, yeah. They're already on, they'll already be on fire uh, at will because they're better okay. days. Right. 
let's just see let's just see what they want to do when they come in. Can send these guys around the side just to fuck them over. What do you think of the soundtrack? Good. Um, probably go on normal speed, I guess. It sort of leaps forward, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, these guys are being very confused what's going on. They're already shaken. They're going to attack your general. Oh, never mind. You're going to you're, you'll destroy them. The gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he's General Flavio he Lewis like is in charge again. I'm making too much use of my cavalry. What would Lewis be oh, in be Latin? Such... Like, what would your what would Luigi. your Roman name be? Hmm? Luigi. <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> oh my God. Orders. Attack. Besieging settlements. Build ram. Yeah. Click. Settlement under siege. We're running out of money again. It's gonna happen, Alex. They don't like me taking them. They don't like me invading. Spain want a ceasefire. Uh, yeah, accept that. Cool. Spain, I don't want to be fighting you. I needed your. I needed access. So now I've done one turn of siege. I can just attack. Can I? Sir, engage the enemy. Yeah. Assault. Yes. Shall we do an actual like? You can do a siege battle if you want. How did I, think, I take the other place? I think my my um Greek uh, my well my Roman name would be my Greek my, would be my name right because Alexander's Greek. Ah uh, yes, you're already Xander. Xander. Yeah. No. But victory hangs this isn't Buffy the Vampire Slayer. X X Xander. X X X X Xander. Four twenty. Sixty nine. All right. Let's begin. You can't. You can only attack with your ram. Can I move everyone can, else forward? No, you'll get shot by the watchtowers. Just to just attack with your ram. Oh god, they're gonna get fucked up. What about archers. Because then the archers are nice. Alexander, they're not so great. You know what, Miss Levitz? Oh, I, missed, I read that wrong. Missed Levitz. Miss hmm. Levitz. I can get other dudes up a little bit. You can, you'll get shot. Yeah, well, they're alright, they're ready to get shot. Alex XXX, yeah. I actually signed my um, cards that, so if you ever get a card from me, it'll say Alex XXX. Kisses. It's meant to be kisses, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I put a kiss on everything. Except I never really send cards unless it's for my family. Like, I don't send Christmas cards or anything. I'm really, like, antisocial. Do you send Christmas cards? No. Okay. I said e cards. E cards? No, I don't. Oh. I was going to say I didn't get one, so. Uh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Maybe next year. Alexander the Average. Wow. I've heard that a couple of times, yeah. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must how it sort of jerks forward, isn't it? Um, it's because when you're moving the camera, it goes back to normal speed. It only goes fast when you're... When it's still. I see. Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, look at... Mm. Gates Our fucked up. Yeah. Now work. you can just like storm in and slaughter everyone. And they're getting shot by your archers too. So. Just charge through into this square, form up inside the city. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. See, and they give you compliments when you're doing well too. Bam! In they go. Fight, Hostates. Battle. Sorry, I'm. Um... Oh, there's a lot of dead dudes on the floor here. You seem to be getting. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've... You seem to be getting used to this uh, very quickly, actually. You're a quick learner. I've played, I played Total War game before. Oh. I've played a few Total War games in my time. So, out of the ones you've played, what was the one that you liked, or you just really didn't like any of them? I guess what I don't like is the lack of variety in troops. I think. I think um, I'm just I think I'm just a bit spoiled because I'll tell you what I've been playing a bit of Heroes of Mind Magic mm -hmm. and 
I just love like that fantasy realm. You know, there's and it's so much in front in 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 here is my magic. There's so much variety in terms of like in terms of like enemy types and different factions and different types of like styles of play. And it just felt like I know this is supposed to be a, a realistic sort of world and, and stuff. But I think that Total War Warhammer is exactly what Total War needed, you know, with all of the... It, it, it had a layer of freshness to it. So if the, the format was beginning unique a little bit stale, yeah. And I mean, I get it. Like, you know, you can put War, War Elephants in and, and Flaming Pigs and stuff. And they, they've always done their best to, like, try and put in, like, additional cool, like, kind of... Um, I think that you've also got uh, like three kingdoms should be well. They've they've made. Like, I think balance. I've heard that they've added like sort of fantasy elements to that though. It's more uh, like the the generals are kind of the the romantical kind of style. So it's it's all about the it's all about the generals and their stories and. This is oh man, they got fucking wrecked. I did lose a hundred men though. It's all about well, there is like a romantic. Is there, I heard there was like um, a, a Three Kingdoms, like a romantic, rank, romantic version with like dragons and stuff. Yeah. Is that true? There's not dragons, no. No. There's the, the That's road, what I heard in my head. The, <laughs> the romantical side is the all about the story, like having the having the generals like larger than life. Um, oh the, right. The preview build that I played, uh, like I think it has to be rebalanced because uh, there's a character called Guan Yu, and he had this. Um, a, this like one hit kill ability so if he was in a duel you click this button and then he was like rah and then the opposing person he was dueling with would just die okay it's super overpowered but I think that the you know the build that I play was two months out of date so um, but that's the kind of thing they're going for so your characters tell the stories you can play historically if you want like with with normal characters and that but it's really about you gonna play it you gonna get into it I mean I feel yeah. like my I feel like the settings that they pick, Rome is a cool, it's a cool time, right? You've got fucking awesome Rome taking over all these barbarians and, you know, this is all just fucking barbarian wasteland at this point. You can just go over there and burn them all down. It's great fun. There's, there's, but there's always going to be someone on the borders who's a problem. You know, it's always good. There's always going to be someone bad like Persia or, or fucking someone or Carthage or someone or someone trying to fucking come and kill you. You know, Carthage is over here, isn't it? This is this is Carthage. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, Three Kingdoms is set in the Warring States period of China. Yeah, so and I don't really know. It's much about that period of history. It's only because I played Dynasty Warriors. Uh -huh. I kind of know a few of the characters. What? Dynasty Warriors just you have one guy with a spear and you kill like five thousand guys. Yeah. Spinning it around so your head. When I was like eleven or twelve or thirteen, playing Dynasty Warriors three, that was really cool. You could get on a fucking elephant. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just like go rampaging around the map on an elephant. Did you learn much about like? I mean, I guess it's, I don't really it, it, know much Roman history. Oh, or Chinese history. So, well, Roman history I kind of know about just because I've read about it. Yeah. And I guess like Rome would help a little. Rome is probably what got me super in. This game probably got me super interested in the whole period, so I would read a lot about it. Um, it is a super interesting. So, especially the Punic Wars, I really yes. enjoy reading about the Punic Wars. Which that, were uh, against like, Carthage, yeah, right? Yeah, so that's when... Why were they uh, called the Punic Wars? There's a reason, right? Uh, I shit, I should probably know that. Yes, the Punic uh, Wars. Is it because it, I think it's, yeah. was Carthage was the P Punic culture? Phoenician. Phoenician? Oh, that's what oh, okay, Punic was Phoenician, and Phoenician was like, yeah. Um, the Phoenicians, was that Carthage? Uh, the, the Phoenician, the Carthage was a... Colony, original colony of Phoenicia, or Phoenician colony. Right. But then it just became its own like superpower. Okay. Yeah. Is this like modern day Algeria or something? I don't know where it's. No, Tunisia. Tunisia. Ah, of course. Algeria must be like this way, and then this is Morocco. Ah, yeah. God, it's geography. <laughs> Not very good. All right, let's quit this. Thank you, Alex. Holy crap. That. The Hoover's on, but that oh, is pretty cool. Um, Can we go off my Steam library? Yeah, boy, we show in all of your sexy games on your Steam library. Look at this. It is just full of, like, these are your favourites here. Crusader it's Kings. an out-of-date favourite one. It's just for ease of launching games. It's just crazy. There's obviously 
survive in there. Age of Empires, make a video. These are the ones you're making a video on in future. Are these uh, well, I've already done? done Age of Empires 2. I haven't done, I think I did Age of Mythology in 2015. Caribbean was in 2015 as well. This is a 2015 Steam library that I've Caribbean. ever updated. Caribbean, what's this? It's shit. Is it like Sid Meier's it's, Pirates? No, it's just a bad Mountain Blade mod that was made into a game. Sorry to the developers, I'm, I'm probably, but it wasn't A very bad good. Mountain Blade. Do you remember Sid Meier's Pirates? Yeah, I loved it. The original it. one. I it was oh I only played the two thousand and three we're like hovering in mid air sorry guys we'll sort it out um I was looking at sorry I was looking at things by um Sid Meier's Pirates see was it on see it's, was oh it on it, Amiga oh my god see I played this on Amiga back in the day. I guess it must have been on. Yeah, it was. It was on Amiga. Okay, so I am thinking of the right game. This is the one that I played. Is this the one you played, or is this? Wow. No, I played the new one. Quite that bad. Well, the the new one. It looked like this, Alex. It looked like it looked like this. I guess this is someone's YouTube video. Jim plays games. So you went out around an ocean. Um, oh my! It actually, can I actually see some gameplay? Like. Looks like this a lot of the time. So this was made in 1987. I wasn't born. We had it had it had like a little book with it, a little map, and you sort of you sort of went off and explored. It's very old school, isn't it? Yeah. And then you had like, oh my god, I guess he's called his character Threepwood in this, um, fighting a Spanish captain. Oh god. Yeah, you had to do this. This was like part of the game. Um. Oh my god. So this reminds me now of of of, of colonization, hmm. which is a game that I've played. I wonder, are you interested in what are you interested in? I should share something with you. So here is my magic. Have you ever played that? I never played it. Never played here is my magic. What about Sid Meier's colonization? No, you can show me either. I'll probably. What do you guys think? Uh, have you played all Monkey Island games? Monkey Island Two. I've never actually played the Monkey Island games. No, Alex. You've got so much joy ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, what do you guys think? Oh. Here is about Magic 3 or, or colonization. Mm. Colonization. A lot of people are saying colonization. Play Warhammer. Mm. I'll t we can quickly boot up colonization because it will only take it, like 20 it, minutes for you to give you, a, give you an idea. It won't be on my... Oh. Oh. Um. I need to request access from you. Oh, I see. From my account. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll um, we'll change account. Uh, S S Steve, Sam, anyone? Can we hide this stream for just a brief, the briefest of moments? Wow, it goes really high def, doesn't it? Wow, you can see like everything. What do you mean? All of the crinkles? No, no. I use an anti-aging moisturizer now. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you? Yeah. What what is it? Have you got any rec recommendations I could do with? Um... It just feels greasy though when you put it on. I don't think it's a very good one, so I wouldn't recommend it. But you have the skin of like a someone a decade um, younger than your age. Yeah. Well, no, I've got the appearance yeah. of a person a decade younger. Because I just for some reason I look younger, but I don't actually have the skin of I have the, the skin of a old older man. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's it's like I look younger, but actually, in order to like balance that out, your body is dying inside. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Okay, so oh, Sam, the... cut the music and and play this music. <laughs> the Micro Pros Design Group. Okay, now this is like part of it. I don't know if this has got the original music or if it's got the re remade music. Jeff Briggs. Oh, I've heard of the Jeff Bridges then. Programming by Brian Reynolds. That's it. Just him. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Bentz Miller, Stacy, Charlie, Bob, and Kevin. 
Susan, Michael and Barbara. Wait, didn't they just do that? Are they putting the same names to make it appear like it was... Jeff, Roland and Ken. It's the same guys. I don't remember this intro. Was it always like this? Terra Incognita. What am I watching? Enough. So, we're going to start a new game in... Let's do... The new world will generate a random new world. But we're going to do America. It's a whole new world. A new fantastic... So, don't worry about that. We're just going to put it on the diffus, difficulty, highest difficulty. Um, who would you like to be? England. Your power is you get more immigrants. Some of them, but usually more prisoners. England love to send people to prison colonies. England cannot get enough of that. Nice. You can be France. They like to Catholicize everyone and turn them into missionaries. You can be Spain. They love killing people <laughs> and taking their treasure. Or you can be the Netherlands. They get a slightly bigger ship. <laughs> um, I quite like the idea of... Uh, hmm. It's a toss-up between having prisoners or killing people. Yeah? Killing the natives and taking their treasure? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. A, f a different place style. Strangler. <laughs> you're not really strangling. You're the, you're the colonizer. Oh, okay. Alex the explorer. Alex the brave. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. In 1492. Okay. Basically, there's just some story here. But Hernan Cortes, remember him? Mm -hmm. He fucking like took over like the entire Aztec <laughs> Empire with yeah. like 200 men and a, and a cannon. <laughs> um, so to reflect the strategic surprise which Spain achieved over the pre-Columbian American civilization, the Spanish player gets a 50% combat bonus when attacking Indian villages. And now... This isn't the same music as I remember, but this is the um, this is this is how it works. Okay, in the NFL one thousand and four hundred and ninety-two, an expedition. Great bicycle. <laughs> oh! Alex the Brave sets off for the New World. Okay, and this is all like all this fluff you never see again. It's nothing. It's never as nice as this ever again. What? Lovely pixel art. Oh, look, this is unskippable. <laughs> what if you press space? Or escape? No. Okay, no, you can't skip it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta listen to the music and enjoy it. Don't worry, it'll start singing. So, the way this works is um, you've got a ship. Okay, I'll let you take over. So, you can control the ship with numpad. Uh, and so you can go like diagonal and you've got a certain amount of moves like Civ okay and you've just discovered the new world um, what, what, do you, what do you want to name the new world I don't know are there any we'll call it New Spain we have oh, okay. all day um, and so what you could do is you can now if you move so you can move with numpad like 7 or 1 will move you diagonal as well because it's a grid and so you can move on to like a tile Right, so in that case, there's like a beaver there that's like furs. Um, so if you make landfall, that seems fine. Um, you've got pioneer and a soldier. All right, so you can move him to that onto that beaver tile if you want. Uh, by, yeah, there you go. Nice. And uh, what you can do is you can actually use him to scout a bit of the coastline. Um, yeah, there you go. So look, we've arrived in the Americas. It looks like there's like resources. Um, Use the mouse to. Um, oh yeah, I think you might have to do this. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can you can like slip around there. That's an Indian. It's native. Can we kill them? Uh, right. I see what you're thinking already. You're thinking, let's kill the native. Um, I'm just being historically accurate. I see. Right. Okay. No. Um, sure. What we could do is let's go and get more troops. Uh, but we could need some money. So I think like maybe a good way to start would be can you move him to the down left and one like press one? 
Okay, perfect. If you just settle a colony there on him next turn, and if you use this this guy to just keep scanning around. Oh. oh. The natives. Who are the natives here? The Iroquois. So, not famous for having a shitload of gold. Oh. Um, would you like to accept our tree and live with them in peace? Well, you could pick, Alex. Well, I'm going to be able to kill them uh, with only one soldier, so I should probably accept the land, right? Cool. Let's do that. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's press, press, press G for go. And you can send them back to go to back to Seville, okay? And so he's going to sail across the Atlantic and go back home. This guy, if you press B, he can build a colony. You can name it whatever you want the colony to be. Nice. A classic Spanish name. <laughs> <laughs> what would your Spanish name be? Um, Luigi. <laughs> uh, so you've got one guy, okay? This is him here. He's a he's a neutral colonist. Okay, he can be any of these roles, any of these jobs. Okay, and he has to work on one of these tiles. So there's, we've settled here. We've got access to all of these tiles. Okay. This one is actually controlled by the Iroquois. Iroquois. I don't know how to pronounce them. You are mistaken. This is our land now. Exactly. That will upset them. But um, they gave us the land. They, well, they said we would be in peace. Oh. Um, but obviously we don't really need that forest since we've already got one next door that we're not using. It's not, you know, early in the game, we're not going to need their land. Uh, of course, we can always abandon the colony if we want. We can send him back into being a pioneer again. So until we build a wall, this is like just kind of an outpost. Um, we've, he's automatically defaulted to harvesting furs. And we're also getting three furs from here. Furs are decent income. So what we can do is we can leave this for a few turns, get some furs and then send them back, buy some horses, buy some guns, kill the natives. Plan. Sounds good. Yeah. So where do I, so with the soldier, I'll just keep on. Yeah, we might as well identify uh, where their capital is. He's well, blocking that's, me. That's actually their capital. Oh. Um, oh, we can recruit Hernan Cortez. Uh, he says, when Cortez joins your Congress, conquered native settlements always yield treasure in greater abundance, and the king's galleons transport the treasure free of charge. We will have him, please. That feels good. Uh, you can scout around if you want using like these sort of controls, um, and we can identify more more targets. Our ships arrived. This is our caravel, so we can buy stuff. As you can see, horses not too bad. They only cost like they're pretty cheap. So we're gonna buy. Let's buy. Oh, expensive. expensive. Okay, we're gonna need to sell some stuff. Um, is there anyone free? There's some missionaries and some expert silver miners. We don't need the other of those. We don't have any money. Okay, let's just get back home. Um, yeah, so every turn ends, and we're getting... It all sort of ends automatically. Oh, shit, there were some silver miners available. That's unfortunate. So we've now got 27 furs already. So it's building up. And furs, I think, yeah, F, and not F5. Um, there's a button you can press. View European status. We can see how much furs are costing. So they'll buy them for free, which isn't fantastic, but no. it's fine because we can sell them for three and we'll buy horses. So we can basically exchange furs for horses. Silver would have been good, right? Silver would be excellent if we can find it. Yeah, silver would be, and um, we'd be minted. Uh, so we might as well keep looking around because we might be able to find okay. um, a silver mine. Because you never know, because these these natives they they don't know the value of silver at all. They've got no conception of what's what's valuable. We can just take it from them. <laughs> so, can we give them blankets? Uh, and oh, I, yes. With the um, trade goods. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not, Alex. Um, I don't think you can actually. No. Oh. That seems a bit much. I'm just, I'm just scouting out these. Um, oh, the Cherokee. They've got four villages. They're down here. So as you can see, it's very jolly. That's um, treasure there. That's potential treasure. Hmm. Not seeing any like silver mines in these internal um, inside the. I think I think we're just gonna head back home, pick up that. Um... Well, can we put the furs on the boat and sell them? Oh yeah, we should do. Spanish settlers in Lewistown have committed intolerable acts of destruction against their. They want to steal all of our furs. 
We're not gonna we're not gonna do it. They're gonna attack us though. Okay. I think because we settled right up close to them, but they are not cool. They told us. Shit. Okay, we 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 managed to win. We we rolled the dice, which is like a 50-50. We need to get our troops back up here. Pronto. Okay, we definitely need to kill all of them now then. Silver miners. Uh, we want to we want to equip these guys with oh shit we still don't have any gold all right let's get back okay sorry we should have we should have gone fire oh god he's gonna attack again please don't kill our our boys we need we need these boys oh they're giving us coats okay they're they're chill now they had a little bit of um we're at a hundred furs Alex which is terrific and and they the the Iroquois had the audacity to demand them. Let's harvest instead. Let's make it out, sell some coats. Right, we can put him into a, being a fur trader and he will convert the three furs that we're getting every turn from our base tile into coats. Okay, so when eventually the ship does come, we're not going to overflow out. Okay, let's go to... Just All right, we got this. Alex, it's already happening. It's taking shape. I'm taking over. I'm sorry. I've gone... You're directing, but I'm... I'm now in charge. I've, I've, I've already lost. Oh, this is... Uh, don't attack the Iroquois, you crazy... Fuck. No, why? We should kill them. No, we, we won't, we're going to surprise and ambush on them. Fortunately, they seem to have, have, have reduced their aggro for us. We can go, to go and explore this area real quick. And then we'll send the ship back. Okay, in it comes with a second dude, the silver miner. Unfortunately, there's nothing. There's no mountains we can mine silver on. But we can get some ore. However, now we're losing food. So he probably wants to do food. Um, all right, cool. Let's load up these furs, load up these coats. Put him back on furs. Fur trapper. Sweet, okay. It's happening. What's happening? Everything. Oh, the purse of furs has risen. That is terrific news. Okay, go and go and pick up the Jesuit missionaries. And what we're going to do is we're not going to make them missionaries. We're going to arm them with muskets and horses. Oh, this is this is great news. So furs were obviously in high demand, which is what we can. Everyone wants to wear fur coats, Alex. It's like fashion. So this is the first stuff. So we're going to sell these. A hundred. That's four hundred gold. And the coats are another one hundred thirty-five gold. So coats are worth a bit more. They're worth nine. So these are our priests. Um, we're gonna. Can we not? Can we not? Wow. Can we not equip these guys with horses? Can we not. Do missionaries not wanna? Okay. I think missionaries actually sounds like missionaries are the one thing you cannot give guns to. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Give them blankets instead. Um. Can we recruit some petty criminals? Sure. Wait, that looks like a Minecraft hat. Look. A Minecraft hat. Or a face. Oh, I see what you're saying. It does. But it's a man in stocks. Oh. Okay, he's now a Dragoon. Okay. Okay. He's going to come back with... Um, and we're going to fucking... We're going to wreck these, these natives. Hardcore. Man, this is a bit of a shame. So we want to... I'm going to go back here. So what we're actually going to do is we're gonna, when we got those horses, we're going to um, equip our Dragoon with horses. So he's like... Because he's a, this guy's a veteran soldier. So he'll do better in combat. Missionary. What a piece of crap this guy is. He's put to work as a farmer. We're just going to grab these. Go and sell him immediately. Okay, this guy is just going to be um, a shit boy for now until we get our veteran soldiers over here. They've given us seven or they're actually giving us stuff, Alex. Little do they know. Little do they know about what we're going to do to them. That's right, we're going to ruin their poor native civilization. Okay, so this guy's going to get those horses. 
Now we've got four here, so they will actually grow. So we've left a couple in town. So horses will grow in town now. Um, and we can get more guys. We're going to give this 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 uh, well, petty criminal a Two go. dragoons isn't enough to wipe out the natives, surely. Well, we'll give it a go, Alex. We'll give it a goddamn good go. Okay. Off we go. They're very alarmed. Are you ready? We're entering the Indian village. Oh, they wave to you happily. Can I press the... Oh. Demand tribute. Okay. All right, Alex, you're up. All right, you can press all the buttons. Well, I don't know what on. to do, because everything happened so fast the past 10 minutes. Well, they've got braves. Right. They attack for one. Our guy attacks for three. So... I'm just going to sell these and... Oh, we got a lot of money that time. Yeah. So who did we arm? Who are they? These guys are more dragoons. Just some random colonists. Oh. Off they go. All right. So press. If you press one, obviously it will. Okay. So this is their capital, which means obviously it's tougher. So we get we're three plus fifty percent plus fifty percent plus we're Spain. Yeah. Whereas they're only one, but they get, they've get they got capital. Okay, good. We killed them. Attack again. <laughs> we don't know how many troops they have in there. Pressing buttons. Let's hope that we don't die. Oh, we're rolling the dice well here. They're getting they're getting wiped out. That's two braves we've killed. Keep going. How okay. many braves do they have? Don't do know. We're going to find out. Okay, success. Keep going. Send the petty criminals in. <laughs> Send in the criminals. Ah! Excellent. It's working. Oh, they're sending more. They are sending some troops down, but don't worry. We've got another Dragoon. So he can actually drop off his troops closer. Oh. So just say stay with ships. Move it closer. And then drop them down. Maybe like the... On the same tile. Oh, oh shit. shit. I misclicked. That's right. Oh crap! Oh god, no! Because of their valor in battle, our soldiers have <laughs> soldiers, soldiers have been promoted from petty criminals to indentured servants. There you go. T turns out, if you want to serve your time, Alex, fucking get on a boat to the new world. Just kill some natives. Nice, love it. That's good. That's good for us. Oh shit! So he can drop off. Uh, no, you've got to drop off. Uh, you can't. What are you doing? I misclicked. I'm sorry. This is why I probably <laughs> took control of the keyboard, right? That's no. Keep going. You're fine. Oh, my God. This capital is going to go down. How many braves do they have? <laughs> yes. A thousand gold. Oh. Worth of treasure. It will take a galleon to get this treasure back to Europe. Hooray. We're killing the Iroquois! <laughs> We're doing it, Alex! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that's a thousand fucking Killing off. natives have never been so fun. <laughs> um, so there you go. What you could do is you could then transport this back to your town. Which is probably quite necessary, actually, due to the fact that... The natives are coming? Yeah. Um, but we can just deal with those guys like this. Bam. And so, yeah, cash, money, um, and we can let the crown Vice have Roy their share. Alex the Brave. And so I think... What happens if we say no? They take a 70% What? Share. Oh, my God, that's a disaster. I thought it said that the King's Galleons were taking it free of charge. Well, they go anyway. They only gave us a... They took the bloody king. Bloody king. That 70% tax rate is way too high. It's far the top too top earners, high. that is too much. Exactly. We're going to keep killing these natives, though, and taking all of this land and gold off of them. Make sure they pay a damn fine tribute, Alex. So, yeah, as you can see, this is how the game works. So, basically, you, you set up your cities. You can actually make this guy using the tools, because he started with tools. You can plow lands, and you can make them into good places to grow sugar. You can mm -hmm. grow tobacco. 
You can be friends with the natives and they will come and join you and they can share their skills. You can get people who are expert. So this guy's an expert silver miner, but we haven't got any silver. Um, you get resources, you get more people. It turns out one of the things I forgot about this game is if you get to 100 food, you just get a growth. So if you have a lot of farms going, you can actually just grow new people in the new world. You can set up more cities, you can defend them, and then eventually the goal is to um, rebel, declare independence by pressing this button under the game menu. Um, oh. And then obviously <laughs> you can't do it until you support it, but yeah. then the Spain will come and be really pissed off with us and a civil war will happen. Oh, okay. And if you can declare independence, then you win again. Yeah. So you have to fight this massive did, king's army once you're ready. Did they ever remake it? Or was it just... Yeah, it got remade um, in Civ 4 engine, and it was rubbish. Oh. Um, and also, there's a, f a free version of it called Free Call, which again isn't as good. Um, I just like the original because it's something I'm used to, mm -hmm. and it resonates with me. Like... I love doing this. <laughs> no, I never play like this, actually. I never normally play... Kill everyone. Like, murder, murder, well, murder no, I, the new world. Do you interact with other, like, the other colonies, like uh, England and... Can, you, can there be wars between, like, England and Spain and... Yes, so you will war the other, the other... So the other factions... So obviously we're playing on the actual America map here. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're in North America. It looks yep. like... We're actually so normally Spain actually usually spawn like the further south right? down here. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Spain are the lowest, mm -hmm. and they're going into like South Africa. Then you have like um, France, and then England, then Holland, normally at the, the top. And they do New 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 York. Actually, maybe France do stuff because France this is a classic thing, isn't it, for trapping French Canadian kind of um, yeah. Ups. Oh wow, they didn't get any money from that. That's unfortunate. So yeah, these are sometimes like treasures, like in your burial grounds and stuff. Well, during the um, like the French English wars, like the they would actually recruit the natives to fight for them as well. Like they'd ally with the local tribes. It's only until really, really like America got their independence that the whole Manifest Destiny thing really did. Uh, really? Do a number on the rest. I didn't know that. So yeah, like in the um, yeah, definitely like when there was like you know the battle like Canada, Quebec, and all that kind of area, that they would recruit various tribes to like fight with them. And because all the tribes had local rivalries as well, so they would like, the English and the French would basically try and get the other tribes to fight amongst each other and all that kind of stuff. Dirty, dirty. Anyway, I'm just killing the fucking Iroquois. It feels bad, man. But, but that's what you do. Do you have a break on these early streams? We've got to have a break now. Oh, right. I mean, if we were attacking the Aztecs or the Inca, it would be a very different story. Because yeah. those guys would be dropping, like, every town you would would kill would drop, like, 3,000 or 5,000 gold. Uh, they would be more heavily defended. <laughs> but we're Spain, so, you know, we can pretty much... Do, one of the things we can actually do is um, we can actually buy artillery. Um... Which is insanely powerful. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you can only buy it in the early game. And every time you buy it, it gets more expensive. So uh, the next oh, one okay. is 600. And it goes up in price every mm. time. So it's more and more expensive. But then you, you can eventually make it. But it's such a ball ache to make on your in your colonies that I don't think even when we completed the game before we ever made it, uh, we basically managed to get muskets going, which was hard enough. Anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, I think the st I think your the donation reader's still broken. I'll get it fixed, and then we'll read some of uh, you guys. Well, well, I've got the Streamlabs one open. So we um, want so yeah, got we'll get it, get it fixed. People have resubscribed. Uh, thank you for watching our stream. We're going to be back in five minutes after a cup of coffee, where Alex um, is going to share another game with from his from his youth with me. Yeah, and I'll I don't know what yet. But I'll share another game <laughs> with him. Maybe I'll teach. I him love sharing. I'll show you Heroes of a Magic Three because that'll be you'll, okay. you'll really like it. I think it's really really good. Um, all right. I just See like you. this music. It is very jolly. Kill all the Indians. Kill, kill all the Indians. Indians kill take their, their money. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> all right. Bye. <laughs>
Hello everyone, welcome back. Good morning, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Me and Alex are just shitting around really, playing <laughs> random shit, talking about stuff that we we played and um, playing a few games that we we, we love. Oh. Um, have you ever played Heroes Might Magic? Any of them, Alex? No. Okay. Is it like, um, did this start off as a board game that turned into a video game or was it a video game that turned into a, has it always just been a video game? It's always been a video game. Oh, right. Yeah. I think we might try a little bit of, um, a little bit of POM 3. I mean, the thing is, like, people get very salty about this. Why? Well, be partly because people will have very, very fond memories of it. And people don't like HD remakes that don't have the whole game. So the Heroes of Might Magic 3 HD remake doesn't have all the expansions. Oh. And it doesn't have a bunch of other stuff like okay. there's, there's a bunch of stuff missing and a bunch of balance changes and stuff so anyway I was playing it at home and it's like um, I can't just sort it out because it's Paul Lake but well it's not actually that much Paul Lake but it'll take like 10 minutes it's better for me to just give you an idea of what this game's like from here it's 3 anyway there we go look let's load this up shall I shall we read out the oh yeah do you want to read any messages uh, Jan uh, has said XXX Jan the Yoggasm I take it that's the Alexander. Is that like a, 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 a better Twitch TV emote? You should be called XXX. That would be your like porn um, <laughs> account name. Uh, SC Reconcile. Thank you for the donation. Lewis, whilst you're ignoring Alex, donated five dollars. Nice, thank you. Uh, have we got any other messages? Hey, have you fixed it yet? Fixed what? From X Chemicalism. Uh, Atomic Snow Glow. Woo! Two year badge. Let's celebrate with a rematch, 1v1 on Spaz Hulk. What? Space Hulk. Okay. Oh, what's that? Em oh, uh, Atomic Snow Globe. Sorry, scroll down. Emerald? Gonna, um, he wants I'm to have a rematch of, of Space Hulk. Maybe later when me, me and Ben are on, actually. We might play some Space Hulk. We'll yeah. see. We'll see Atomic Snow Globe. No promises. Alex, the rest of the dono. That's all it said. That, I read it all, Reconcile. It said Lewis, whilst you're ignoring Alex. That's Maybe there's more to it. Oh. What did he say? Is he in chat? He just says, yeah, what else did you say? I don't know if it can... Our reader's all fucked up. Sorry, dudes. If, like, X Chemical Sims isn't, says, hey, have you fixed it yet? No, I don't think we have. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, Azza UK donated $10. Uh, Lewis, check out Templar Battle Force on Steam. You think you and Ben will love it and it's stupidly cheap. Right up your streets. Addicts might like it too. It's XCOM meets Space Hulk. Okay. Templar Battle Force. Um, we have, like, a custom chat reader and it's... Not great, guys. I will say that. Did I, I, did I leave my phone? You linked the StarCraft 2 leaderboard for you to check out. Oh, sweet. Okay. Can you tweet that at me? Yes, you reckon so. I'll check it in the break. I need like a Google Drive doc that I can fill in um, at, at live. I want to be able what? to show it on stream. Oh, is this a, is it like an in-house StarCraft 2 matches you've been having? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit me. Well, and, uh, Pit Boy says Lewis equals daddy. Lewis equals daddy. Yeah. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a scenario. Okay. A simple scenario. And ba, 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 I'll let ba, ba. you do it. So when did this originally come out? In the 90s? How about Buried Treasure? Uh, oh, yeah. I think actually it was early 2000s. So, oh. okay. Who would you like to be? Would you like to be the castle? The rampart? I know, Sorry. You have to pick what town you want. It's weird. So you have to pick which town you want. So you can be the castle. It's like knights. The rampart is like... Um, Look, I think we've established we're not being barbarians today. The tower, the inferno, the necropolis, or the dungeon. Um, or uh, stronghold. Uh, stronghold. Or the fortress. Uh, Ultra Hill said 1999. Okay. Stronghold. Who do you want your hero to be? I think these might be the. I think the stronghold might be barbarians. Oh, <gasps> no. Let's go with the necropolis then. Can't be the necropolis. I'm on that all the bloody time. It's all over. Oh, play. inferno tower, tower rampart tower castle. Castle. Castle is like vanilla as heck. Oh, it's like all knights right. and stuff. Tower then. That might be weird. Are they elves? Kind of weird. You can be this girl, Neela. Hot. Let's do it. Starting bonus or artifact. Okay. We're just going to put it on default difficulty. Good luck. Wait, Alex is a dad. No, I'm not. I have no children that I know of. Alex, according to the many scrolls and texts your sages have studied, 
the greatest clue surprisingly came from a children's story, Tim and the Terrible Titan. It in story is told that the great cloud titans would store their most precious belongings below Sorry, ground. how did you say that? <laughs> I read belongings below and I read it as palacious. <laughs> palacious belongings below ground to prevent them from accidentally falling to earth. What? Anyway, we need to dig for treasure. So, okay, you start off with a hero. This is your hero. Or this is your castle. So this is your castle. This is the tower. And in it, you can recruit these creatures. I've played a game very similar to this. Yeah? I've forgotten what it's called, though. King's Bounty? No. It was it was really around the same time as this. Maybe okay. like 2001. There must be others like this. There is. Yeah. Uh, and then within your hero, you can have like multiple units. Yeah. And then like, the battles take place separately, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've played something similar to this. I used to do a hot seat around my friend's house on the computer. Amazing. So, so you already right. know what you're doing. Age of Wonders, people are saying. No, it's not Age of Wonders. It's not Age of Wonders. This is going to bug me now. Most palacious belongings. <laughs> so anyway, we're playing on high def. Um, would you like to do the battles or would you like to do the overworld? Um, I think you know what you're doing. So you do the overworld. I'll be the battle boy. Alex is a battle boy. Disciple! Was it Disciples? Disciples. Is that what people in chat are saying? Let me. Let me. I'm just. I'm not. I am. I am listening to you. No, you go, go for it. Like, I'm. I'm not worried. Oh, go. Go for it. Uh. Disciples two. That's the one. Yeah. What is? What is? Hang on. I'm going to have to look up disciples two now, just because we can't be having this. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone incognito. Oh, disciples two. That looks like your pusher outfit. What does? The, the the incognito. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> like the descriptor Gestapo. That's different. Galleon's Sorry. Return. Oh my god, it looks exactly the same. I love this game. It was great. I had so much fun with this. Oh my god, it all is almost exactly <laughs> the same. Yeah, so I just played a different version of uh, a, um, Heroes of Might and Magic. I think you probably... It's a lot darker, isn't it? Yeah, it was very... Uh, yeah, it's dark. Oh, man. He's recruiting his so team. so much fun with this with my friends. So, so, I, I had so it looks like you have this terrifying, huge flying hero that stomps around. Yeah. Um, amazing. I've never played this. It's on Steam, apparently. There you go. Disciples 2. We could do it on an armchair admirals one day. Galleon's Return. I'm going to have to check it out. Maybe you should check it out and let us know. Um, if it still works and stuff. Still the best alternative to Heroes of Might and Magic and King's Bounty. There you go. Wow. I didn't even know. Dark gothic version. Holy shit, Alex. Fucking. I don't think we need to play this anymore. Next one. No, no, show me. I haven't played. This looks a lot brighter than Disciples. It's a lot happier. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, Everyone likes being happy. I think I feel like maybe I need to change it back to the old school graphics, just so. Ooh, we get the real. There's not that much difference, is there? No, it's just, it's just a bit blurrier. Yeah. Oh, my lord! That was very upbeat. Did you disable the music? No, I didn't. Oh, it just it just plays a little a cue, a little musical cue. So what is what we're trying to do at the moment? What's the? So what we're doing is we're basically just. Establishing our sort of area. So you have your castle and you have, this is the whole map here. So it's quite yes. big. Um, you start off with a couple of heroes. Well, you can recruit more, obviously. And I like to recruit a couple to go around and do all this looting. Because this looting is quite a lot of faff. Um, so we've also started off with an artifact. The Pendant of Total Recall. <laughs> um, at random. So we picked one. We've got a spell book. We've got some spells. We haven't actually learned any. Um, we've got some skills, so advanced armor. We can skill them up. We're level two. Our speciality is armor, so actually having an armor is good because it makes our troops tougher. They like less likely to die in combat. Um, they last slightly longer. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is just go around and loot all these treasures that's just lying around on the map. Wait, that oh we have two armies. Yeah, I've got two little groups of so groups of dudes. This is a shipyard. Can we conquer the shipyard? Yeah, we can build a boat. And then we can go on the boat 
We can go on the boat. We can go and explore the seas. Um, now, every turn, you're allowed to build something in your when home did, base. When did the turn end, though? Did you? Um, I think the turn ends when you press the end turn button. <laughs> no, I know. I didn't see that you press the end turn oh. button, though. No. All right. Look out, Tara. Oh, my God. That actually seems pretty cool. Let's get that. Why not? So now we can see all around here. So okay, so what we've got is we're on an island, obviously, uh, which is good for us because it means we don't we're not going to be attacked by other, other players probably, unless they come in by a boat. So we'll see them coming. Um, this thing goes underground though, so this is under this is an underground level, uh, underground map. Mm -hmm. So that might be full of it might be really busy and packed. It might just be a little bit of tunneling. Don't know. I'm, I've got to go down there and have a look. These are resourced. Um, Generators, so these generate wood, um, which is and an ore. Um, there is obviously an, a crystal mine here that we can collect, and that will bring in how ore we, per turn. How do you know what we control, though? It's got a little red flag on it. Oh, so anything, anything red is ours. Yeah. So if we send a hero up there, so I'm going to end turn now. Okay. So now it's a fresh, a fresh day. I've got full turn of movement on each of these heroes. Good. Yep. Um, if we kill these goblins or these zombies, the gobos, we can loot the stuff that's behind them. So this thing gives you, I think, plus one knowledge. This thing um, is a sulfur mine, obviously useful. And this thing is an obelisk. Now, these are the things we're going to have to seek out across this map. And um, hopefully, I think the idea of this, this map is to find the buried treasure. So you can take a whole day out of your time to like just dig for treasure. I actually missed some sulfur there. Um, but doing so, hmm. I'm going to head back to town and just quickly recruit up some more guys. Let's build a golem factory, a golem factory. And what will that allow? It allows us to recruit some stone golems to our army. Is that going to take six turns? Oh, you did it automatically. Oh. So there's already, there's, they, they, they replenish every week. So as long as you have the gold, you can just, just buy them up. I love that. Boom, boom. It's just a, just a, Sort of jolly game, really. We're going to explore around the ocean, I think. So we've only got a small army, so our small army means we might have trouble killing some of these troops. But we're going to try and do it anyway, because fuck it. Um, we'll do it next turn. Actually, maybe, maybe even take a turn, because we want to, we want to learn, want to learn a spell or two, so we actually have something to cast. Magic arrow, dispel, view earth. Summon boat, amazing, and haste. Okay, cool. These are cool abilities. I'm a little bit concerned that our army's going to be too small to, to fucking deal with these bloody things. Um, Just get more. Well, we have to wait till the end of the week. Oh. And that involves waiting, which is not what you want to do in Heroes Might Magic all the time. You don't want to wait around too long. But goblins are pretty shit. Okay, let's go kill some goblins. Let's go and see if we can kill these guys. Okay, so now it's the battle screen. You're up. Someone calling me Budget Ben. Are you budget? You're budget everything. I'm Budget Sips. I'm Budget Ben. I think I've also been called. Oh no, uh, Budget Ross as well. I don't know. Budget Ross. Well, didn't say someone say that I was like the love child of Ross and Sips or something? I don't. I don't remember. I don't get it, personally. <laughs> but so aren't I controlling the army? So yeah, you should be controlling it. So basically, you've got a hex grid. You can move them. Well, I've got 53 through. gobos. 53, but they've Gremlins. got four health each. Oh. So you've got 53 of them. Um, but how many are there in that stack? If you right-click on his stack, you'll see. They're, they've got five health each. They're, they're basically the same as you. So you, we should win this. But we want to try and lose as few units as possible. Oh. So every time a unit attacks... Why like couldn't this. I move my gargoyles? Because <laughs> it's not... The gargoyles turn. Yeah. There's an initiative order. And can I use my... You can. So he got high morale, which means he gets to attack. Twice. Stop attacking me! So you can now click on your hero and cast a spell. Can I? Yeah. So if you click haste, they'll move further. You don't really need that because they're already all in combat. You can use that to kill some of them with magic arrow, which is quite good. So if you use that on one of the units, it will kill. Good choice. 
So can I move up and then attack? So no, if you click on the um, the sword from the direction, now move to the tile next to him and attack from there. Yeah. Oh. You're doing it. Oh, you're doing it. Oh. Leave my gargoyles alone, you... You bastard. I think you might be able to finish him off now. Great job, Alex. Holy shit. So, okay. You get not very much experience. <laughs> <laughs> but we now have control of this mine, which is nice. It starts getting sulfur in every day, which is what we want. I'm just going to keep... I love this music. It's so happy. Around. Oh, you cut it. I didn't cut it. It just oh. it just isn't very long. Um, it reminds me of like something you'd find in like a animated film from like the nineties. I see. Dun, 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 dun. Like a Disney film from the night. Or it be in l no? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It does. Ooh, that's the fire alarm. Don't Do we need to go? No. Don't worry about that. It's just a test day. Go. All right. It's already stopped. Tuesday, so there's the fire alarm test. God, I might need another bloody hero. Let's keep building stuff. Uh, let's build a parapet that allows us to get stone gargoyles. Okay, end the turn. Oh, there's an enemy hero there. You see him? Enemy hero. He's out there. Explore. So he must have got on a shipyard. So, okay, looks like. It looks like we're on an island here. He starts on an island here. There's another guy on an island up here and another guy on an island up here. And this central island is a free-for-all. Oh, okay. So I feel like what I need to do is land on the central island and start exploring it and gathering it all up before he does. Because there's lots of free resources just lying around. And I want to grab them before he can. So a little bit like, here's my magic, is a little bit of that. You need to be quick to grab up the stuff. So we're building more military buildings effectively. So now we can recruit all of these top four troops. So this is level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the highest level troop you can get. These guys are giants. They have 150 health. They hit 40 to 60. You know, they're quite a lot better than gremlins. Um, but you don't need to worry too much about that. I don't know how this game passed me by. Because it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. So what are these things he's... Orc tail. I guess he's recruiting orcs into his army. Shit, I didn't realise that was a thing. How big is our army with that one? The woman? Not very big. We've uh. got two stone golems and 33 grains. Oh. We can get some ogres from these forts, though. But this one's defended by ogres. So we can buy some army on the go, but I don't think that's the intention. Let's not waste our movement to go and get that. Um, we're just going to build one more building here. We're going to build one of these two. I think we probably want to build the altar of wishes. So, like, a, build, a, a classic build in this game would be to, like, do a bit of economy and yep. build a city hall, okay. which lets you get more gold more quick. Because currently we're down to like 5,000 gold. Oh. We've built a lot of the creature buildings. And yep. also it costs a lot to recruit these creatures. Okay. So tomorrow what's going to happen is, boom, if I end the turn, we can see green going and losing his stuff. Um, we can now go to this town and there'll be new creatures. Do you see what I mean? So we can go, right, we'll have four new mages. We'll have... Three new genies. We'll have six new of these. Just get all of the troops in. Won't that affect our economy? Or? Well, that spent all of our gold. Oh. But we've now got a fairly decent sized army. Okay. Um, that we can use to fight with. So, yeah, I think we're going to put it vaguely like this. Okay. And then we're going to head here to get some free gems. And then we're going to clear out the rest of this island, I think. Is this happy? Is this happy little jaunt in every Heroes of Mind Magic? Um, every well, yeah. This is like the original. I think this is the original sound of it. The graphics is like 
changed. Every Yorkshire Tales Tears of Might Magic game is then running around with zombies at bottom speed. So, okay, so a classic thing is like... Oh, no, they're a ranged unit. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Oh, well. um, sorry, Alex, I should have informed you. So they can actually shoot, which pew, pew. is quite useful to know. Um, so you don't really even need to attack. So you should really be defending until they get close. I should have given you a bit of a briefing on this, but I was reading chat. So right click on them. They've got shots, 24 shots, and the shots do seven to nine damage. So you don't really want to get them in melee. So shall I shoot them like that? Well, that will, that's, this is the genie you're using now. Oh. Well, you should be fine. You can just attack the bomb, bottom one. Okay, seven of them died straight away. I think maybe you'll be fine here anyway, because you've got quite tough units. Oh, you did lose a guy. So now you can shoot those. All right, that killed six. That's a success. Good blocking. Oh, he's got around me. So yeah, these golems are obviously very, very slow, and so they actually slow down the movement of your hero um, quite substantially. Say up. Is that? Got him. So every hero gets retaliation, um, which is a thing you, you should you should know. So if you you want to soak up that retaliation with something that's able to soak it up, so for example. That was that was fine, Alex. You killed thirty two zombies. You only lost one gargoyle and four gremlins. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Now you can you can loot all of this lovely treasure. Um, meanwhile, we can't actually recruit any of these boys because I spent all of our flipping money. <laughs> That's a bit of a mistake. Oof. This isn't a very good area to explore. I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, if I take those. Gob if I take those golems out of this army, it will move a lot faster. <laughs> I'd be able to get a lot more exploring done. But I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, God. I fucked up, Alex. We can still win this. It's okay. It happens to all of us. Do you have any money? Oh, he's... He got a thousand he's money now. our boat. Wait, what? He took our boat, Alex. Um, Get it back? Should I just disband those bloody golems? Because they're basically just useless. Yeah, they're just slowing me down. I should probably leave the other golems at home as well. Plus one spell power. Plus one defense. Okay, we're doing it. Let's get a marketplace because we're going to need that. Bam. Hom 3 is happening. Oh, uh, what? Hom 3? Hom 3. What is. We're playing here as a magic. I know, I know. I didn't know if it meant anything. Or you just. Silver Pegasi. We're doing it. Okay, we're going to have to kill these hobgoblins. I'm going to make you fight them anyway for the XP. So in the um, HD mod of this, there is actually an auto resolve. You can also wait if you press the shield in the bottom right, or the, the hourglass, so you can like act after they've acted. Oh. Uh. So everyone has one action in their turn, a little bit like any other turn-based game. They are slow, those golems. Holy crap. They are so slow. I forgot. Amazing. Alex, thank you. I don't really feel that that was much of a challenge. Well, you lost three goblins. You could have done that without losing any. Well, I didn't. So, I'm just saying if you want a challenge, maybe <laughs> do better. <laughs> Be better. Okay. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Maybe be less shit? <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on, Alex. 
Oh, fucking hell. I think we might have to upgrade our bloody Golem Factory at some point. So how long does a game of Might and Magic take? Uh, Heroes and Mad... Heroes and May... Might Heroes... And Heroes of Might and Magic... It depends how long you want it to take. Yeah, it's sort of... Sort of pointless, really. Mm. There's not much down here, just these these orc towers, which I think we probably need to go to. God, look at all this experience we're getting. Alright, here's another fight. You ready for it? Bring it. Right. So they're usually going to rush towards your most vulnerable unit. And these guys are a two tile wide unit. Interesting. Are they, uh, is this a magical? You can right click on them to find out what they are. Um, yeah. You've got genies. They hate Ifrits. They hate what? Ifrits. Ifrits? It's like a fiery version of a genie. Oh, all right. So they do like extra damage to those guys. These gargoyles don't seem very good. No. They're not. They're like your second tier unit. Oh. What's your thinking? Well, I'm trying to do it without dying. Okay. I'm trying to do the... I'm trying to get better. Okay, like good. Like you told me to do. No, this is fine. So what... Okay, no, this is great. Carry on. No, I'm just... No, no, I'm, I, I'm just wanting to know why you're... What the... Well, I'm hanging back because he's... Perfect! Because you... <laughs> I'm just going to... <laughs> so six of those doing 10 damage each that'll kill most of that stack zip zap fuck yes I defended well, didn't you... lose anything <laughs> he didn't defend he took one damage well done so you did it okay that... this is much better Alex thank you this is what I want this is what I'm expecting from you okay? these high fives get softer and softer every time well I don't want to hurt my hand oh you know, I I play games for a living. I need to look after my hands. Have you insured them? I haven't. I should do, really. Lots yeah. of people do. Because you don't just play games. Well, mostly I do. Yeah, no, I, I do only play games. <laughs> uh, we're going to save our cash. Um, we really need some money. I've been putting, I've been looting everything, but not actually getting any money. It's a bit bad, really. Because I can't recruit any of these free orcs. I suppose we could sell some stuff in the trading post. Let's sell some, sell some, some wood. We don't need all this wood. We don't need all this sulfur either. Well, it's Alex's job at the Yogg's cast. I'm not employed. No, Alex but doesn't work here. He's an he's a content creator in his own right. And I'm in the Yogg's cast network. Yeah, it means we we we. What do we do? Uh. Uh, you allow what? Uh, I join streams every now and then. Yes, yes. In return for, <laughs> for a cut <laughs> for my earnings. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Goblin Barry. And merch. Yes, they design merch. Uh, they they redesign. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm going to be on some main channel videos soon, apparently. Are you? I'm, being, I'm in the TTT. Oh, shit. I haven't recorded it yet, though. Oh, well, I don't hold your breath, then, in that case. Oh. Wow. It's a bit just sometimes... Well, I just get an email later on today saying, Alex, sorry, you're out. Sorry. Well, yeah, we, we, the thing is, we've started inviting more people than we need. Um, like, because so many people don't turn up. Like, you know, we... Well, well I'll definitely be here. Okay. Well, as long as you turn up, like... It's just amazing how you can invite like seven people to a recording and then every single time one or two of them won't be there and you'll be like why content creators are very flaky 
I if I'm told to turn up at a specific time, place, and 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 setting, I will turn up every time. I am amazed that that's the case. I'm very reliable. Yeah. Well, is that what? Okay. Well, that's that makes you pretty unique. Uh, uh, so. Yeah. So pretty rare. Well, well, it's not true. Most well, people are fine, and well, usually it's because someone's sick or something. I, I show people as much. Uh, well, I, I, I kind of had like the mandate that I'll, I'll, I'll give people as much respect as they show me. So right. Plus, I'm in the office anyway. Yeah. This week. So yeah. So you're not doing anything. I else. haven't got an excuse. I see. <laughs> <laughs> to not turn up. There's literally no reason you wouldn't be here. See, now you're playing here is my magic. Now you're thinking. I like this. What? Oh, I did shoot them. Yeah. Fuck you. So the next thing to learn is um, you have a certain amount of mana on your hero. Per turn? Per permanently. Um, but it recharges when you go back to your city. Oh. Or when you go to certain things in the well. Like, um, Wish well, you told me that. Otherwise, I wouldn't well, have I'll show you it, so it now, but it's not a problem. You can... You're learning, so I'm allowing you to like be a bit reckless, a bit wild, a bit free, a bit loose, a bit unpredictable. If he fails, this interview is going to get... <laughs> not an interview. This isn't an interview, is it? No. I never actually got one when I applied but for the you Yogscast. Know. I think maybe this is. I wouldn't tell you if it was. Did you Did you look up and find the email? Oh, no, we, we spoke about this in the last stream that I was here. My generic, please just give me a job. I'm looking for anything. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Back from 2013. I like, yes, we talked about this. <laughs> We're gonna build. Oh. A That's when my YouTube channel, I think, had about 500 subscribers. Amazing. And I kept grinding and grinding and grinding until you, we got to where you are today. Yeah. 600 subscribers. <laughs> 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 you earned those 600. Every one of them. Uh, what day is it? It's day seven. Okay, so we're going to build... See, this doubles base creature growth, this one. Which is quite useful because it means we get double growth of everything else. Or I could start recruiting now because I think I'm just going to double base creature growth for now. Because then I can recruit a lot of low-tier units. I can right-click enemy troops. Oh, okay. ba -da -ma -ma -ma. I really like the... The audio here is really... I really like the... You really like the audio? Like those little audio... Oh, clips. my God. I know what it's reminding me of. Go Slot on. machines. Oh, my fucking God, it is. <laughs> it and totally it is, isn't it? It's those little addictive cues. Yeah. <laughs> Every time like you get like a little uh, bonus or a little bit of a win, something like happy happens in the slot machine to keep you like pressing that fucking button. Oh, my God. That's why it, this, was, this was my equivalent of a loot box. Yeah. When I was a kid. So you know get, you're recruiting everything, get, spending all your gold and recruiting more goblins to get that little sound effect again. They, they, they should have put like pay to win in this, shouldn't they? I think I'm going to upgrade all my iron golems to stop them being, slowing me down so bad. I'm rather sneaky on slot machines though. Like, there was, I was in a pub the other week and I was watching other people put their money in but not any coming out. So after that happened, after a couple of hours, I put my £10 in and I won 45 Okay. That's how I make most of my money. Because of YouTube in January, you know? Just, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I've got, no, I've got no money at all coming in. I'm so poor. Oh, this is awful. I think I'm going to have to just... I think I'm going to have to bring the big army across and just slam it into these gogs here and just see if I can get these three big treasure chests of gold. I can't even loot that. It's like obviously there's no way around, so you can't you can't horse to it. What is this thing? It's an actual town. Fuck. I didn't Can we town here? Loot the town. Looks like a, like a Roman town, doesn't it? Corona. It's protect. It's my faction. It's, it's protected by it's like the same faction. I think it's protected by the same creatures that inhabit my town. Lots of harpies. I feel like harpies aren't too bad, and I feel like the town might be doable. I just wonder how much I'm actually going to need. I think I might just quickly explore underground before going to the new area. I don't need any more spells. I could do with some magi. 
because Magi are pretty good, and they're a good range, good strong range unit. So you've got to protect these at all costs, okay? Because they're very expensive, and also they're going to be the key mm. to victory. We're going to kill this pack of beholders, and we're going to go underground, all right? Alex? Underground, overground, wampling free? Yes. Like Ramblers wombles. Of Rambles. Rambles. No, I'm not from Wimbledon. Rambles, Rambles of Wimbledon. Yeah, that's not good. Mm, I'm not sure I can... Oh yeah, we're going to kill everything. We're going to kill all this stuff. Okay, these guys move quick, like your guys. And obviously there's quite a lot of them. The black guys... Ah! are upgraded and they cost Sneaky even more. Sneaky fuckers. I don't think you're going to be able to get them in combat on turn one. So what they're going to do is turn two, they're probably going to fly and attack your mages. So if I would, if I was you, I would block that tile. Yeah. Form a defensive perimeter! Of. Oh. And then you can shoot with him. Zap. And you probably also want to cast a spell. Oh my god, he got lucky and he can now attack again. Double zap! Nice. Perimeter formed. I think he's... Yeah, that seems fine. Oh. No, this is good, because you don't. You want to protect your mages at all costs. And gremlins are shit. And I don't care if they all die. This game is a lot about pre 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 protecting your expensive units with your just foddery crap. Aha! Oh, we're so happy. Fucking perfect, Alex. That was, that was brilliant. That was not an easy fight as well, because those guys are can be pretty scary. Should we use the other hand now? So we switch to the... There we go. Good. That had a bit of whack to it. You did it. I'm pleased. You could hear the slap. Oh, yeah. You, you... And the, the gems! Like, it's just so... It makes me want to go to the casino. Whoops. What? Well, I just, I just realized I attacked the wrong unit. So, okay. You, if, first of all, uh, don't do anything else yet. So... Don't do anything else. Stop, 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 stop. So he's right click on his unit. It's a ranged unit. Okay, so it's going to shoot at us. So we need to close it down. Full attack! Oh. He's at me. So we need to get over there ASAP. So sometimes it's worth doing a thing where you, like, casting a. Wait, wait. So if you cast haste on the gargoyles. That'll give them three extra tiles of movement. And then they can go in on and stab them. Now, once you've put a ranged unit in melee combat, they are significantly worse. Although I don't know if they are. Right click on them. No, they have no melee penalty. Okay, so in fact, they're just the same. I guess they're, they're a bad ranged unit because they're just a decent overall unit. Maybe I fucked up here. Oops. We should have clicked attack there, but that's an easy mistake to make her. Oh, right, yeah. Punch. Turns out that these archers are actually, maybe beholders, like, are not. I don't know what every unit in the game does. Or used to. That's fine. Do you know what? That's fine. Gargoyles are expendable. That's what we want them to do. We want them to get in, disrupt people. So if you just click on those golems above you, yeah, we're going to attack them as well. Yeah, left click. Oh! Yes. 100% yes. 22 dudes just joined us, Alex. That is amazing news. We will take the gold, because we really need gold. And we'll grab that shield as well. Um, okay, we're out of movement. Oh, God, it's going... Amazing. So what do you think of the game so far? Oh, it's good. I'm really enjoying it. I've missed playing you a game like this. There. You paused a little bit when you said it. Sorry, I was reading the chat at the same time. You're <laughs> <playing>. <laughs> it's really good. I'm sure there was a but coming. And no, no, I've actually missed, is, I've missed playing games like this. If there is a but coming, I want to I would like to know it. if there are requests, though. Like, what, what are we trying to achieve here? I still don't... Really so what we're trying to do is you see that that, uh, that obelisk we, we took before. That one, this right? One of these on each island, okay. plus there must be some in the middle. All right. And when we get all of them... Yeah, we win? No, it will reveal this map, the puzzle map, okay? And that will lead us to a hidden treasure somewhere on the map. And if we dig that up, we win, okay? 
So all we need to do is get onto these guys' islands, stay alive long enough to look at their obelisk, uh -huh. and then find us the hidden treasure. Is this something that we'll be able to complete in the next 40 minutes? Um, Probably not. Or should, I, should we try another game now? <laughs> we, could, we could... I think you've got the idea, right? Yeah. Although I could... I might just carry this on in my own time. Holy shit. What does, what does chat want? Do you want, do you want us to, to, to check something else out? Fucking millennials need... Everything needs a cookie or an achievement. No, I just like to know what story I'm going behind. No, well, it's... At least you're not even a millennial, are you? I am. Oh, okay. I suppose we both are technically. Yeah. If we're, if we're being technical. Yeah, technical. Yeah. Technical. Bloody technical. So, um, what did chat say? New game. Okay, cool, cool. Um, More hearts. Of, I, I'm not doing hoy. I love Good it. Good lord. Uh, it's, uh, no. 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 <laughs> What do you what do you have to, go on what, what what do you have what else do you have to suggest then um i i need to look at my steam library okay um, so if i could have control of my monitor back then i can just have a quick look that will also involve giving you control of this back as well if i can do that. what you do okay so this needs to be plugged in to the that black the middle of the usb there that one i yeah. should not be trusted with technical though. that's all right okay um I'm just going to carry on playing this while you figure out what your Steam login and blast password are. again. Um, you can uh, capital S. You're you're one of them. Seducer. <laughs> Hold on, I look on my phone. I've got it on my phone. I am, though. I don't really want to tell you the past. <laughs> You're one of them. Amazing. Oh, my email's frozen. Why does it? Why do I always have so many technical issues when I'm trying to do stuff on the fly? So a classic technique in this game is to ferry troops back and forth to your main army using your hero. Oh, okay. Using a, a spare hero. Oh my god, look at all this stuff underground. Oh my god, how many emails do I keep getting? Mmm, a pack of stone gold. Ah! Am I actually one of these? I guess we all are. Got it. I'm still logged into my Steam library. I'll see if I can find anything that would interest you. Oh, Tommy K is playing Hearts of Iron 4. What a surprise. Mm. Yeah. Do, you play, do you play Mountain Blade? Mm, no, I never really enjoyed Mountain Blade. Okay. Which one? Warband. I think Shin plays it all the time. Oh. Why does, why does, I don't understand it. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's a good one to show me. Because I did, I've never got it. Divinity Dragon Commander. That's kind of a bit of a weird one. Divinity Dragon Commander. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. a, it's kind of like an RPG uh, with like elves with loads of cleavage, and then and then you control and fly around on a dragon around a battle map, and you send your armies to different places while also like shooting shit. Sounds perfect. <laughs> I've only played it for ninety minutes, so I'm not very good at it. Oh, well, this is more about games that you've got a thousand hours in. Oh, let's see. Divinity Dragon Commander. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you spent like. Like, oh well, well, we'll take this. basic intelligence. Hold fast right. nations at war. That's quite fun. Mm. What's a game I used to play a lot of? I used to play a lot of Star Wars: Empire at War. Oh shit! Did you ever play that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, Ben showed it to me. Oh. And Ben and I played it on the Lewis and Ben channel. Oh. We did a campaign, um, but we didn't play the expansion? Question mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's load that up. Forces of Corruption. Yes, right. we never played the expansion. Have you played that? Yes. All right. I'm not very good. This is a game like, I remember buying it in game, and it came with a C-3PO bobblehead. I'll carry on this game later. Hang on, let's just save this. Um, like, I got free stuff. Well, free. Like, I remember buying it at full price in game when it was first released, and it came with, like, a C-3PO bobblehead as, like, a 
pr- buying bonus. Can we? Can I just see Alex's screen, Sam? I don't need to control it. Um, because I never controlled this before. When I'm, I'm just installing it. It's just downloading. Ah, yes. Okay. I don't think I'll check. The I don't think we played the DLC. I don't know why we didn't. Um, okay. So, oh my god, please tell me why am I using this damn Prime Cell every freaking month to help out your favorite content creators? And you can do it too, you viewers out there. That's right. Click on the Twitch Prime. It's a subscription dub for free. Oh my god, we could one v one. We Everyone could. From 1982 to 2000 of millennium. We could have a little That's space battle against each other to finish off this. Yeah, I think I, I don't know if I actually own it. Oh. Uh, but I can have a look. So you want me to launch forces of corruption? Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen it before. So. Uh, it so. just implements a third faction that can corrupt stuff. No, I don't have a copy. Oh, I'm not gonna buy it. Oh, all right. That's right. We'll just, we'll just. I just want to. I want to see what forces of corruption is. Um. Oh, sure. You probably want to download from the cloud. Yeah. From yeah. I've never seen that thing before. Well, it means that someone's played this game on this computer. It's probably got save games on it. Oh, I see. And because we okay. share the computer, it's wondering whether our save games I guess we don't care about your old save games particularly. Probably. I don't have any. I, this isn't, again, it's, um, I had the disc version. I, buy, I bought the Steam version in a sale. So all of my probably a couple of hundred hours are on the disc. So what a game this is. Whoa, they're shut down. Petroglyph. Yeah. After, was it, are they, no, are they still around? Star Wars, Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Oh. Wow. Um, yeah, just. What do we want? What? The 1080, 60 hertz, that one. Jesus. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Guess not 60 hertz then. Uh, slightly concerned that it's now saving the settings, but that's fine. I think we're fine now. It's gone full screen. Yeah, this looks Just good. needed a crash to sort itself out. This looks right. Yeah, there you go. So what do you want to do? That's an assault frigate. Oh, that's a Moncal there, isn't Mon it? Calamari, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rebel Assault Frigate. I think you want to just um, do whatever you want, Alex. I'm interested. Just just sell it to me. What's new in the expansion? I don't know. I didn't really like the expansion. I just like the base game. Right. Yeah, like you've got the... Um, do you know, like... Got the Zan Consortium. Right. Oh. Yeah, see, that's the third faction I didn't even know was there. It's been so long since I played it with the expansion, I never usually do it. You usually just play as the... You usually just load up the game without the... Is that weird? It's because it's... Not great. Yeah. Well, that's what Ben said. It's, like, so weird to me that there's a game that you deliberately wouldn't load the expansion. I mean, I get it. Like, I... if I'm playing, like... Um, Crusader Kings. I want to turn off half of the fucking DLC. CK2 is so good, though. It is great. Yeah. But at the same time, the same shit happens again and again. Oh, I, I cuck your wife. I sleep with a prostitute. I, I turn into the dark priest of, of Antipope. Building under construction. <laughs> what? It's the same thing every time. In production. Okay, so we're going to go up. I think we're going up against the Zan Consortium. So these are corrupted planets. Can someone t in the chat tell me what happens? Because I've actually the, forgot. What do you. Oh, right, so you've just made a really small little galaxy. galaxy. Yeah, just because for the sake of time. As oh, yeah, this is cool. That's oh, right, and you have like. Because there's, there's ground battles as well as. Yeah, the ground battles are a bit trash. Yeah, the ground battles are. Location confirmed. Not where the game shines. No. Advancing. So you've got different things, and like Kuwait Order is usually reporting. like a shipbuilding uh, planet, I think. Like you get a bonus. Kuwait. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Very wet. Then. Uh, like so, Imperial Star Destroyers cost twenty percent less to build on this planet. I see. Yeah. Um, hence why I usually build them. I'm just going to build up like a massive fleet under. Um, I forgot what the admiral's name is. Admiral Piet. Yes, Piet. Yeah. Captain. Intensified four fire power. Yes. Intensified four fire. Too late. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you? Which? Which? Do you? Do you like the original trilogy? Ah. Uh. Um, yeah, of course, of course, man. Like, I mean, they were, I remember when I was, um, a kid, mm. I had dropped heavy Coming hints about. to my parents for Christmas On that I wanted, that I wanted the Star Wars remastered trilogy on VHS and they didn't get it for me. And I was disappointed. I've and then they were like, oh shit, you did drop heavy hints and we didn't get it. And we went out on Christmas Day and they bought it for me. Obviously, I was at the age where, you know, I, that I was so demanding. Sensors are reporting that there is a hostile presence surrounding the planet. Um, Lay waste to any forces that oppose the Empire. What's wrong? I don't know. Uh, I actually have that trilogy on VHS. Yeah, it's home. like a gold box. Understood. Yeah, so that's, that dates ahead. how old I was. Um, and that was the day the pusher was born. <laughs> yeah, I pushed my parents into buying me um, Star Wars remastered for trilogy. Me, and I was watching that, came home, watched it on right Christmas. Um, I think we must have got out a box of Terry or something after Christmas, whatever. But, you know, it was, it was great watching that. Um, because I don't think I'd really ever seen Star Wars. I think there must have been some advert somewhere. Or one of my friends had told me, you've got to watch this. You know. Yes, Commander. There's still people out there who haven't seen Star Wars. I know. Um, someone I went on a couple of dates with, I was like, have you seen Star Wars? No. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? No. So, but that's good um, in a way, right? It's good that they haven't. It's like you never played Heroes of Might and Magic, and now you're going to go home and be like, I want to play Heroes of Might and Magic. Colonization. And I'm going to go home and play Rome Total War and Star Wars Empire at War. So you're opening up with your fucking victory class Star Destroyers on these poor... They deserve even it. Even rebel, like kind of. Well, these are kind of like aligned scum. Yeah. Neutral scum. So I just, I just like the space battles on this. I just freaking love them. I especially like when you get the imperial, uh, like the super star destroyer. Yeah. That takes up half the fucking map. I mean, this is this is better than Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 right here. Do you know what I mean? I haven't played. I played. I thought I was given a code for Battlefleet Gothic Armada, but it turns out it's just a preview code. So after the game came out, they revoked access to it. Amazing. I think that might be the same as my code then. Um, rip. Where did my Star Destroyers go? Oh. <laughs> They're just chilling out. <laughs> <They're just laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I like that. It's just a couple of big space triangles just chilling out. So do you have abilities? Yeah. Are they all using them cooldown? They're, I think they're being hampered now because of this stupid ship. That's so that's your general. Yeah, that's Piet's own ship. Yeah, my shields are down on this. Oh, there we go. It's blown up now. All focus fire. All forward batteries. Intensify. Standing by. I will try. You will. You won't try. You will do. Ready, ready of the fleet. So you can attack specific areas. Which yeah. is cool. I'm tr attacking the hangar so they can't deploy more little shits. More little shits, yeah. Because they they're buzzing around you there. Right. You've got tide bombers. Oh, look at that they little... I'm going to shoot that piece of shit out of the sky. Oh shit, have we lost... Uh... Oh, I think, I'm, I think it's an automatic one. So like this uh, tractor beam is keeping them in place so they can't retreat. Oh, right. How's our other Star Destroyer? Is it okay? It's damaged, but it's... Oh, actually, I'm going to withdraw it out of battle. Yeah, we wanna... they're bombing it, look, with... Um... Little, we'll tie, little, not tie bombs, they'll work for the fuck they are. That's one thing I'm really bad with, the micro on this. Yeah, well, do you know what though? It's like, it's not too... This game is not too serious in a sense. Like, you don't feel the need to min-max it as much, in no. a way. Do you know what I mean? Partly because it's like such a... It's a little bit like Total War in a sense, you know? You're not too worried about the battles going well, a bit wrong occasionally and auto resolving occasionally. I don't really want. You're sort of you got back. You go back to the economy screen afterwards. Yeah. And you build up a, a no new load of stuff. Like I don't really want my star destroyer to die. I like. I prefer playing as the Empire because you always have your ships spawn out of your star destroyers, so you don't have to worry about 
building X wings and well, Y wings. That is your Star Destroyer. Though. That's your general. No, no. Every Star Destroyer mm -hmm. has a specific amount of support ships with it. Okay. Whereas with the Rebellion, you always have to buy X wings and Y wings and A wings. But does it when your general die in this? He just takes like five turns or whatever and then respawns, and then you get his Star Destroyer back. Yes. Catch it. That's the um. Wookie world. Kashyyyk. Yeah. So we already we've already conquered the Wookies. We already conquered the Natives. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Now now Hutter, isn't that that's a Hut world? Obviously, so it's, I don't think it's where Jabba's from. It might be where Jabba's from. Um, no, I don't think so. They're all from Tatooine, aren't they? I generally auto resolve. No, no. Now Hutter is a Hutter. The the, the, the Huts. Like the Huts had an empire, I think, like thousands of years ago. Oh shit. Yeah. I don't. Oh god. I'm it is where Jabba is from. There we go. Thank you. No way. Can we go? Can we? Can we begin the RTS just so people can see? Wait, you want to see the land? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really bad at these. I, I think can you, you can play the land. Battle. I've done. I think when I played with Ben, I did all the the Tom work. There you go. Population hut. Oh, I so can't. So you're just gonna kill some lizards? Hang on. Oh. You <laughs> spoil your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so you could get. To, you could deploy your troops here. Um, no. Oh, I, with the deploy screen. Yeah, but we don't have any. So there. Um, Rebels yeah, call for reinforcements. Making their presence oh, known okay. in the so you got the Emperor. Oh, you've got a big 8080. Oh, shit. Let's just get... Let's get... Look at that. Look at that, look at that this guy. beast. Get, oh, that's used up all of our... Um, yeah. It's used up all of our allowance. All right. Awaiting your orders. This has been quite a, a nice selection of games we play today. Okay, so you can capture these things. Ready points. Moving out. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, just destroy the buildings. Just kill the... Yes, kill the natives. Yes, there's Kill huts. the huts. Kill little, them. Little slug boys, look. Kill the slugs. Stamp on the slugs. Your orders, Commander. Are they shooting little guns at me? Yeah. That's it, kill them. <laughs> yes, die, you sl slimy bastards. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you all. So you can... Oh, you can garrison. You can, I think these are like little turret points. You can points. deploy the Emperor now if you want. Oh, shit. He's going to come down. In a, oh, and in his a, Imperial, a, Imperial Shuttle. shuttle. Imperial. Who's your favourite Star Wars character? Oh, there's some really good ones. It's got to be the original ones, though. Like anything from the prequels or even the new series, I'm just not interested in. I don't care... It has to be like the original guys, like fuck Darth Maul and all that shit. Like some people love Darth. I'm actually, I'm actually partial to Jabba. No, not Jabba. Sorry, um, Jar Jar. Okay, you, yeah, yeah. He's and, a um, real comic relief. Just what we need. And Ben Solo. He's just got that edgy. Ben Solo. Just that edgy kind of uh, you know bad boy that I'm after I in the film. I like. I don't even really like Finn and. Um, you command. Fucking Ed, uh, what's her face? Um, Ray. Just none of those guys. Don't Chat, I, I am actually joking. I don't actually. No one know. likes Luke either. He sucks. You can deploy stormtroopers from the 8080. Can I? Oh, yeah. Deploying stormtroopers. Is it like a cooldown? Are they coming out? How did Chat know this? Oh, woohoo. He's like giving, it's like milk. Coming out of his udders. Who's the um in 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 a new hope? Who's the guy? Who's the fat guy that dies in his X-wing? Look at what the fucking look at what the emperor is. I am in command. What do you want? I feel that voice acting is bad. Hawkins, that's the one. Yes. Hawkins. He's like <laughs> he's like electrocuting this building. Uh, it's Tom. I can't believe we've got a special cameo, guys. From from Tom of the Yogscast. From <laughs> what? This is Tom's character in uh, TTT. Oh, is it? Do you not? You've not watched any. Do you want to be in TTT? No, I have watched it. You're gonna have to watch some TTT because it's. No, I have. I have. I was, ben can attest that I was watching it when you came in the office. But morning. you didn't know that Tom's character was Palpatine. He wasn't in the video I watched. Oh shit. Okay, fair enough then. Oh, actually, and also he's on holiday anyway, so he's probably not gonna be in the session that you're in. Look at this, just fucking wrecking it from range. Roger that. You like Star Trek? Um, Star Trek Discovery is probably the best TV show on right now. Is it? No. 
<laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you were telling the truth. God, I was worried I was going to upset you then by saying, no, it's not. It sucks. What's your favourite Star Trek? Uh, well, it was always TNG. Right. Um, but actually, I watched some of DS9. Not all of it, like some like specific episodes. And there's some really, really good episodes. I think Space Nine's probably my favourite. Yeah, there's a lot of crap episodes. Don't get oh, me wrong. well, that's the same with every Star Trek. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage. But th when they have like 20 episodes a season for like five seasons, yeah. there's going to be some shit episodes. We're just sort of stomping our way through these. Um, my Sorry, you should just really sp just speed it up. <laughs> oh my god, it's a one hit kill with the Emperor killing the slugs. Oh, there's their units. Um, it's one hit kill with the Emperor, isn't it? Oh my god. Emperor's good. And there's Boba Hett. Ba Boba Hett? Boba Fett. I think Boba Fett's probably my favourite character in Star Wars. He's very underused. Boba Fett. Mm. Yeah, well, he's Boba Fett is the classic, uh, like, a malady of of of. He's like the hipstery. On my way. I don't know. He's, he's, I don't. I don't rate Boba Fett. Honestly, I think he gets overvalued by Star Wars nerds, and he has done ever since. He's like the hipster favorite character, right? Well, I think he sucks because of that. Because he's so so. I don't know, every, every, just, do you know what I mean, guys? He's pretty boring, but like, I think, I think, it's, it's almost like when you're a kid, it's like, who's your favorite Star Wars character? You don't want to pick someone that's like, everyone else says, oh, it can't be the Emperor, right? Or, or it can't be Han Solo, because he's too, he is everyone's favorite Star Wars character, but he's too cool to say that, you know? You can't. Do you know what I mean? No. He's got to be a best player. Look at these destroyed droids. These are cool. So are these from... Um, are these from the Phantom Menace? Yeah. Droidicas. The Rolly Droidicas yeah. with the shields. So, I mean, I kind of didn't want them in my... I don't want them in my Star Wars game. <laughs> Get out. Do you know what I mean? Is he just going to fucking hover this building to do? What do you want? What do you want? No one survives. He's weak against. Fucking owned. No one. Boba or Maul? Boba Fett? Like I did actually like Darth Maul a lot when I was like 10. Yeah. I mean, he was cool. From that sort of. The fucking Emperor could just solo this entire shit on his own. <laughs> Oh my god, what kind of stuff does he cast? There's a Star Wars RTS that came out like a, a couple of years before this one. Was it Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds? Did you ever play that? It's kind of like the Age of Empires style Star Wars game. <laughs> no, I don't think I did actually. Oh. Star Wars Age of Empires style. Yeah, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Is this the Don't let the Emperor be? die. That's alright. He won't die. He's actually going up in health. How does he go up in health? He, he can solo that entire mission. Removing corruption. <laughs> Adding corruption. <laughs> why is the Emperor removing corruption? I see why this is a weird expansion. Yeah. Corruption has right, your, this is your bit. Oh, sorry. I've got your mouth. There you go. Oh, my bad. I chucked it at you. So, is there no way round to those other planets from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're all. Low. Oh, but that's like trade routey bits, right? Oh shit! They can just go and attack me. So yeah, you have to leave some defenses, right? Mm-hmm. I had chosen not knowledge. to. And we're just gonna move into and crush them. Crush them. Tactical battle imminent. I might as well auto this because it's. Is it too easy for you? Your losses may be higher. I want to see, I I see it. Fight it. Uh, We're going to fight all things. No auto resolves. We're going to literally fight 
every every mission because that's how it works, right? So you'll, you'll see like the um, ships start coming out. See that they're launching from the the bombers. Yeah, they've got Let's bombers. We'll have some interceptors and normal TIE fighters. Are they automatically deploy. Yeah, uh, which is but, which is why I prefer playing as the Empire rather than the Rebellions because I don't have to bother Do buying some manually. ships. Yeah. Oh really? Do you get a certain amount and they're there free? They Do they Locked come up. with the? I think they come with, yes, don't they? Sir. They come with the... Yeah. So look at all these interceptors and bombers we now have. So they're all expendable? Yeah, yeah. They just they respawn every, at, the, uh, at the start of every battle. It's kind of a little bit OP. Can you, like, select them all up in, a, in their own groups and send them off? Yes. Independently. I like the battle camera, too. Oh. Look at that! Oh. So they're TIE interceptors. So they're, they're to fight. They're anti-fighters, right? Yeah. Ready for command, and sir. the bombers are... What is your the, order? Big, the bigger boys. Yeah. These Ready boys. For duty. I, any I strategy game I play, I'm usually pretty bad at micro-ing. Right so I just generally like select a big clump yes, and then just right-click. Yeah. Well, it's any strategy game needs like muscle memory. Like RTS games need, need a lot of hotkeys and muscle Roger memory. That. That's why I'd be quite Roger bad at out. something like StarCraft. Just because I don't, I can't like you know, click everything, go around the map. I think you just again like it's mostly as a, a lot of StarCraft is very heavily keyboard driven. Like I played a lot of Warcraft Three when yeah. I was when you were growing up. Yeah, so that, that was really was fun. Just Ready, so they're remastering that, which is really exciting. Ready for battle. Well, it's not that exciting, but be nice if they made a fourth one. But I guess like World of Warcraft was for them became the big. Yeah. Ready for yeah. orders. Starcraft is a lot of macros, it's Cursed Seraphim. I don't know, I don't know, like, there's definitely, like, yes, some sir. micro in there, but yeah, like, it is a macro game heavily as well. You need to Bombers perform the all of the, the hard economy run, work. Um, oh, look at that broadside. Got him! Wow. Those little ships instead of chance. Wow, they, they, they got into <laughs> Oh. Yes. I guess we can just send all those in. The music's also very nice. They have used the official soundtrack. Did you ever play the Knights of the Old Republic, the RPG? I didn't. No, I've never played Knights of the Old Republic. Again, like it's weird, isn't it? That I think it was during a period of time in my life when I was playing MMOs. So, like at a certain point in my life, I stopped playing other games and Reporting. just played online games. And oh, I okay. played a game Ready, called Subspace, uh -huh. um, which later became Continuum. And then I played Warcraft 3 into World of Warcraft, into um, Star Wars Galaxies. Oh, I never actually got to play that. I really wanted to. Um, I played a lot of Star Wars. Dark, Dark Edge Camelot into Star Wars Galaxies, into World of Warcraft, into some other online games like Final Fantasy Online and various other online like MMOs. And that's that's why I did for like ten years. Yeah, so I missed a lot of gaming. So did you yeah. play Galaxies before it went rubbish? Yeah, I played the the beta Star Wars. I like was really in really at the early stages, and then I played it on release and quit it pretty quick because it wasn't. I didn't really get into it. It had these big like social elements of like working together Direct to craft certain things mm -hmm. and it just was too orders. it was a little bit too much Bombs for me actually what is your order? i wasn't yes, that commander. much of a star wars fan either like to the oh, point okay. where the fact that it was star wars Attacking. wasn't enough to hold my attention i think a lot of people played it because they were huge star wars fans yeah did you um i haven't played no still probably no i mean yeah like i think that a lot of it's very famous. People talk about it so much. Yeah. So for you, was World of Warcraft the big? That's what started the Oxcast, right? Yeah, playing playing nothing but World of Warcraft for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rough. And then I played Dota 2 every day for like three years. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's ah, Minecraft. Zero losses. I really haven't played that many games. You know, that much of a variety. This is partly why I'm doing tip and things like this to try and get me to play different Cruiser experience reporting. different things. Shuttle en route. And I rely on other people like you kind of to teach me some of this stuff. And so like, because sometimes, because obviously like, if you've played 
the game like this extensively. Um, oh, let's kill the rebellion. Do we have time? Yeah, I think so. Well, ten minutes. I like Ben. You know, and you have played, <laughs> played these. If you played the game extensively, then you're going to be more. You're able to share like like that. The, the reasons yes, why you were excited up. about this game at the Sensors time. Because in a sense, like it's easy for planet. people to say this is an Lay old game. Any that the why is it going to be any good? You know, yeah, why would uh, I want to play this as an old game? Right away. Waiting orders. Like I prefer this. Actually, a Sins of a Solar Empire was a really fun game too. Um, did you play Sins of a Solar Empire? No, not well. I did, and I didn't like it. Oh, okay. I I, f I guess like I found it frustrating. In some ways. Choose your reinforcements. Oh my god, you've got even more troops and reinforcements. Oh. I always like to have backup Star Destroyers. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, it already took out a uh, Let's take out the blockade runner. That's a, a Corellian Corvette. Yeah. Yep. We're just a diplomatic vessel. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Leia. Oh my god, that is absolutely getting <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> then against some Y Wings. Uh oh. Take those down. It Intercept the bombers. There's a salt frigate over there. Take out gold leader. That'll be a. That'll be a. I'll be getting two flying. assault frigates. Why wings coming in from the, from the starboard side? No, it's your port side. Port side. Port. Port left. Because it's always port left over. Destroy the end. Oh, the little gits. Oh, the blockade runners there too. Ah. Okay, we're blowing the blockade runner out of the sky. Okay. We'll slowly take out. I'm here. Wow, I'm actually putting up a lot of damage. They can take a lot of damage, these little vessels. I want to I wanted to take out a Mon Calamari. Focus fire. Those poor sort of frigates. Intensify, forward fire. They're weaker than those. Well, then again, we're here hammering them. Ow. The, the, ba the, the, the battle station is going to keep deploying. Okay, take out the hangar. Right. Wedge Antilles will save the day. Wasn't he offered a part in episode 7, but he was like, eh, I don't really want to do it. I'd get, I find it boring. I'm too old. Yeah. <laughs> Wedge was actually one of my favorite. I did actually like Wedge. I feel like, again, a, a minor character. Very minor character. Sometimes the people with the least airtime make the biggest impact. I don't know. I don't know if any of these guys made any impact. I mean, obviously... Wedge Antilles was vital in the destruction of Death Star 2. I can't recall what his face is like. It's like, it's, do you know what I mean? In my head, I don't know what he looks like. Maybe a bit... I can't like remember you. the face of, <laughs> of Wedge Antilles anymore! <laughs> that's how... That's how uh, I feel about him. Target the shield generator. Techwin resubbed on Twitch Prime saying, play Kotor Lewis, you cut. Yeah, that's probably fair enough. Neon, neon numb. Yeah, yeah. Neon numb, my boy. What about Fla uh, screw, um, fucking uh, Flavius Crumb? Scroobius Pip? What's his name? Old, um, Salacious Crumb. Remember him? No. Exactly. I think, um,. X-Wing Alliance is also a game that I played when I was really young that I really enjoyed. Hmm. Did you ever play that? X-Wing Alliance? No, shit, man. There were so many fucking... So many games. <laughs> yes. Even then, there were so many fucking games, it feels like. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, don't retreat. Don't allow the X-Wing to retreat. Kill him. No, retreat. Yes. Rivetorious. Okay, I'm going to get some lunch, guys. Um, I'm going to have to stop the stream for five minutes or maybe slightly longer. And... Um, then me and Ben are going to come back in the afternoon and play some Mechanicus, I think, or maybe maybe Spazzle, or maybe something else. What's Mechanicus? It's like a it's like a tactical strategy strategy game. Oh, in the Warhammer universe, it's good. We're enjoying it. Um, or we might play something else. It depends what you guys want us to play. Uh, yeah, I've got to go and quickly get some some microwave some vegetables or something. <laughs> well, then uh, thanks, Alex. I'm sure we'll thanks. we'll see more of you in a bit. Um, Maybe see a question mark. Maybe if we guys could put a straw poll up on what you guys think we want to do. Um, see if we can do it. Thanks for having me again. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Thank you, Alex. Um, yes, uh, we'll, I'm sure you, we'll, we'll see more of Alex in a bit, and also me in a bit. We'll go and have a break. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.